Today's A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan podcast is brought to you by our watering holes. Yep, all our great partners, our brewery partners, our restaurant partners, it's TomAndDanWateringHoles.com. You can find them all if you go to TomAndDan.com and click on the big watering holes link. Really proud of this list, man. Yeah. Really proud of this list. We got a brand new one, the current seafood counter in College Park. Great seafood, lobster rolls, black and mahi sandwiches. 16 beers on tap. They yeah. got the liquor drinks. And it's cool because, like, you pick, like, a mixer and they have, like, a gun with all the sodas and stuff, you know, and yeah, then you yeah, mix yeah. it up. It's very old school. TVs, if you want to chill there. My kid is addicted to the current. Oh, You'll probably see me there. It is really good. Ask for a Tom and Dan pint glass. Yeah, it lets them know you heard it from us. Um, also, we've Hourglass uh, is they they got their huge location in Longwood and their tap room in Orlando. They got their Florida Smash Beer Festival coming up. It, it's on February seventeenth. You can go to flsmash.com. It's all for charity. Yeah. They, they've raised sixty one thousand plus for uh, the First Harvest Food Bank in Central Florida. Yeah. So it's great. And, and and some of the best. And most creative beers, you know, single oh, yeah. malt, single hop. That's what Smash stands uh, stands for. Yep. Two locations, and they guarantee always forty beers on tap. So that's ridiculous and awesome. Also, Will's Pub, Little Indies, and Dirty Laundry. Um, they're all connected to each other. Dirty Laundry being the newest incarnation. Yeah. It's like a kind of a hangout area, creative drinks, craft cocktails, and little indies. It, Will's is kind of hard to explain because it's like an entertainment complex. Yeah. It's the most heralded and legendary milk district or down uh, adjacent to downtown venue for bands you will ever go to. Legendary place. Yeah, I know the Attack's playing there February 2nd, yeah, and man. they always have great bands. Uh, Alestone and Longwood, 50% off their delicious pizzas Monday through Thursday, so check them out. Yeah. They have great beers. I'm looking at their uh, rotating list of beers right now and their sandwich and pizza menu. Check out Alestone. If you've never been there, you're missing out. Yeah, Cafe Da Vinci and DeLand. Yep. You can go to Cafe Da Vinci DeLand. Great shows. I know... Uh, uh, our buddy Tony Munjet just saw Voodoo Glow Skulls there, and they just have, uh, they've been around so long that they yeah. have the best relationships with all these bands, so they always come through Cafe Well, they Division. get like big name bands too, you know, I mean, you get yeah. bands that, uh, these are bands that you have heard of that are, you know, maybe doing a little bit more intimate concert, Yeah. so uh, you got that to look forward to. Johnny's, we got Johnny's yeah. too, we yeah. were always at Johnny's, but what do I need to say, just go get a hamburger and a craft beer. Yeah, tons of partners in Sanford, including Tuffy's and Tuffy's Music. Box yep. that always has bands come through there as well. Tuffy's, I would say, if you're looking for like Americana, blues, um, maybe something a little bit more singer songwriter. Yeah, Tuffy's the the way that they book, it's really good music. So check them all out at TomAndDanWateringHoles.com. Live from the injured on the go, just call Mo Studio. It's a blast. It's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Hello. This is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. To the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Yes, it is another a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha, our producer is here. Hello, Sam. Hello. We hope to see some of you guys at the Solar Bears game tomorrow yes. and the tailgate. That's going to be uh, out at 135 West Central Boulevard yeah. in the Mo Duet parking one of the area. Most, one of the most old school uh, styled events, I think. This has uh, vibes of 903 Mills Market to me. <laughs> 
Just hanging out. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, and I think some that. Free booze. I think naturally, not that. Like, I think naturally, free I think. Free dogs. Almost free everybody's booze. going in that direction, I feel like. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh-huh. on the couch for news. Seth Petrozelli, very tired Sorry. looking. I was checking into my doctor. You know, you got <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> checking in. Oh, you're back to the doctor. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. I thought your baby solved it. I really I was at the baby doctor two days ago. Oh, you're not. I'll tell you about that later. Okay. Because that was my bet, and it's going to hurt my heart if I was wrong, because a lot of my hypochondria, not to jump right in, but because I know we got something to plug, but my hypochondria, you would agree, has been helped by Maisie Dennis. (laughs) Yeah, oh yeah. It is because uh, now I worry about her. I don't worry about me. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever. But anyway, um, is well, let's get all the the plugs out of the way, and then we'll start you know marching down the road. Mm. Um, we have our cruise coming up in September. Uh, you can check out all the details at Tom and Dan Cruise twenty twenty four dot com. Uh, Tony Palmiotti sent me an email today, kind of giving us a rundown, and we yep. got a good group of people going. Cruise and Tony, ahoy cruises! If you need cruises, ahoy. So I would book your cruise now. At least put down your deposit. It's it's fully refundable up yeah. until, like, I believe June. It's fully refundable it's until it's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you, right? can, you can hold a cabin, sure. but, uh, the, you know, these kind of ships do sell out, and our group is building quickly. Uh, but if you want to go on the cruise with us, it's a great deal because it includes we free drinks. We have some drinks. celebrities, I heard tell, that are... Not Might really. be going on the cruise, uh, Mr. Brock Lesnar. No, no. no. <laughs> on the cruise? It has, it has to do with the story. We have to throw out that out there. Well, that might hurt our cruise. Right. Never mind, he's not going. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll tell you about that in a minute. Yeah. How you doing, Seth? I'm well. Uh, so, oh, wow, all business today. I'm well. Get to it. All right. So we haven't talked to you in a while. It was yeah, the first yeah. time in 2024. You look skinny, man. You look skinny. No, that's the way I'm sitting. Oh, okay. Why are you, you know, sitting like that? Like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I've yeah. never seen. I don't know how to. I'm trying to sit like a dad. I don't You're know. You're very subdued. Gay <laughs> <laughs> dad. Got your daddy o Reeboks on. I'm trying to sit like a normal. Yeah, these are my eight flat throwback 80 ones. It's already happening. Yeah, you Can got you some bright white Reeboks. Yeah, right. oh, skinny yeah. as hell. White shoes. Yeah. Oh my god. Have you lost some muscle mass? No, no, I mean, he definitely I'm, has. I'm 205. Don't say that. I'm yeah. going to weigh myself. I just weigh myself. I was yeah, at 205. Yeah. I'm the same. 205 of five <laughs> pounds of his yeah. cancer. <laughs> Tom said he was 205 been... for five years, and we know that wasn't true. No, no. But no, he no. was over. Yeah, he was over. But now he's lean. So I'm good. I just, the, the sleep thing is. is, is it's killing you, right? Yeah. yeah. You got to get used to it. So right uh, about the, I, I at my age, you don't get used to it. Well, that, right, right around the time you do get used to it, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll be it, dead. It, it, no, it gets <laughs> taken away from you because everything goes back to like a better schedule. Uh, so, well, no, actually, she's doing a. She's actually sleeping five, six hours through the night. Fantastic. So, what's the problem? I get eight hours sleep normally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, then, yeah, yeah. and there's one wake up there where she needs to be uh, fed some or uh, changed. So she, she's awake for like tw- 10, 15 minutes, goes back to sleep. But I'm awake. Um, I found that on the, on the nights I was watching, on the nights, <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, on the nights I was watching, you know, it's like I'm not a bad parent, but mm. you sit in the diaper a little while, you'll be all right. I'll yeah, get yeah, it in the yeah. morning. Oh, I'm been, being serious. Yeah. I'm not no, saying yeah. this to make people mad at me, but as soon as it's in there. I was not the guy that would like run like the pee pee cannot stay on the skin. I was oh, more like, how long do I have? Yeah, I think I, I got about a half an hour we, window. We this. baby, hu- wait. human babies, way too much. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 baby, they, they, yeah. They've evolved yeah. to survive uh, horrible conditions. Yeah. Like they'll, I mean, they'll fall out of the plane. They'll yeah. survive. They'll like, like you just could, like an iPhone out of uh, Alaskan Airlines. You could leave them in a cave for a good amount of time. They could fall out of a plane. <laughs> they yeah, yeah, they are. They, they can. Well, they do survive. They've evolved. They got rubber bones and. Monkey. Tough as hell. Good grip. Yeah. Anyway. They got that monkey grip. It's for grabbing onto <laughs> oh, your she... mama's back hair and holding on as she's streaking yeah, yeah. through the jungle. She titty twisters me a lot. Oh, wait, does she? Your baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Twist, twist. Yeah, yeah. 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 still does I that I let her now. do it, though, because I feel nipples? bad pulling it up. They point out a lot. Uh, yeah. yeah. Fat nipples. That's where I click my fat in my nipple area. <laughs> wait a minute. What? You got fat nipples? I got, he does have that, fat nipples. That's where I usually collect. Yeah. I think it's from when I was like, you know, 18, 19 when I did have steroids. You had you had the first time. Have you had the fat sucked out of your nipples? No, but I You can I do, that. do that. Yeah, when I get Tracy's done, I'll get mine done at the same time. You're going to get, gonna get the fat special. sucked out of Tracy's nipples? No, I'm going to get my fat sucked out and injected into her nipples. <laughs> <laughs> this has <laughs> gone too far. This guy's a Vince McMahon over here. He's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking animal. Oh, we'll talk about that. Huh. Uh, I can't wait to talk about it. It's all I can think about, Tom. So, I don't even know what's going on. All I can oh, think yeah. about is Vince McMahon. <laughs> it's, it's like literally, I can't everything. There's two things this week that I can't not think about it's the old man falling down with the dog that I. I've laughed about, well, three things. The Madonna video where she's in the silver suit dancing like a baked potato. Okay, I've seen that, number one. Number two is the old man and the dog. Number three, Vince McMahon. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it. 
So, so Seth, I'm sure uh, as you go through being a first-time dad, yeah. there's a lot of new things you're experiencing. So tell oh, yeah. us about it. Projectile shitting already. Like, <laughs> no, oh, oh, yeah. just like her daddy. But like I swear. <laughs> she, she got that launch. Oh, yeah. She got oh, no. the Petrozelli launch. She's got Tracy's burps and my farts 100%. Like huh. it's down she, good. She got like, the blammers? Really. She got the blammers. Oh, oh like, that's straight see, up. See, that's actually a little tear. Yeah, and, I, and it makes me smile that's, so much. Yeah, and I do it. And I when she does it, I can kind of do it on command sometimes. So I like, when she does it, I I do it and we just like, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, this guy's <laughs> this is a great dad. Great dad. This is great. So I did the, okay, so I think I, I didn't talk to you about the wiping of the first time and stuff and I was weird down there because I'm not, it's different. Well, it is a miniature vagina. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. Miniature yeah. buttholes, too. I don't but know I'm like, what do you about do, them, yeah. dude? You... He doesn't know anything about it, but you know miniature penis. I like you went into this no research. No, no. Yeah. No, it's weird for a guy. No. I've been around. No, a lot. I'm not yeah, typing. You know I'm not typing that into my computer. You know you're having a daughter. You didn't look in the no, proper I, way I to wipe a class. Baby. No, oh. imagine typing that. How do you spread a baby's vagina open and clean well, it? Well, yeah. No, I mean, when you, yeah, no. you got to add the cleaner. <laughs> <I told you. laughs> well, yeah, that's that's like uh, that's a question me. for Jeeves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you could ask your wife. <laughs> no, I took the fucking class at Winnie Palmer. Classes, and then they made me watch a thing, and then they're like, you, you know, just like adults. There's a man- majora and a menorah, and you're, you know, well, there's a majora, yeah, and you're wiping in there. Come on. Uh, so, <laughs> so anyway, I, I handled that. I got that down pretty good now yeah. too. But now, like, because it goes uh, everywhere, mm-hmm. including yeah, sometimes mush. in the vagina. Oh come on, she it gets does. on. Her, she gets on. Don't her. you tell well, me your son's having shit on their foreskin? They've shit on their foreskin. Well, yeah. well, I mean, it just doesn't seem like I feel like I could rub any type of mud <laughs> or whatever. It's like it's fine. Mud, <laughs> mud shouldn't even be on the I, changing table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't go. Oh, where's my mud? Dog hair. Yeah, I picked well, dog hair all the time. Well, it changes in the backyard. Yeah, I feel like your penis is built to get dirty. I'll just I don't, rub sir, it on the floor. Like dirty dick over here. Yeah. Sir, I don't like the way you say the word penis. So <laughs> dirty dick. Penis. Why'd you say penis? No, so I'm just saying. It's like that doesn't seem as big of an issue than I agree. the other thing. I agree. It's so, like if more you're. Crevices. It's like if you're taking acid, right? If you're taking liquid acid to trip, you put it in your eyeball. Uh-huh. Right, something that's dilated. You don't put it in the tip of your penis. You don't hear about that. <laughs> yeah. And the vagina is nature's eyeball. So essentially, she <laughs> she if a super soaker was filled with wet diarrhea, that's what it looked like coming out of her ass when I was looking right at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tough it was girl. Like, <laughs> that's a tough girl. It, uh-huh. It's good pressure. It was fucking. It was pretty blam. And then she never spit up ever, and she just started doing a little spit up. So I never had to put like a burp rag on me or anything like that. She's oh, nice. burping fine. Everything's good. She got a good gut health. But, that's good. Well, no, not she. Well, this past week she's been doing it a lot. So I was like. Oh, I was like, well, what's going on? Uh-oh. So I you got to get her off the shorts. slim gyms. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Babies yeah. will throw I, up if they. I, eat I a came slim out, gym. Tracy. I was like, what are you? Are you eating something different? What's happening? What are you doing? Oh, really? Yeah. So you started uh, villainizing the mom. Of that's, a, that's a good place to start. <laughs> yeah. Right away. Always start right. with the mom yeah, and yeah. drill her down hard. Get <laughs> <laughs> her in tears. You'll get to the bottom. It's of usually it. <laughs> the mom. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I'm, it really I'm not milking. If you look across North America, the problem with families, it's moms. Everyone knows that. Worse off, two moms. Yes. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Actually, really funny. <laughs> so, so you said you had a story about the doctor oh yeah okay so two days ago um so this goes back to the hypochondria thing i was being i was great i'm fuck i felt really good with the past it's a distraction of, it's months. a good distraction definite distraction um but then i've had like when i first got my anxiety and panic attacks it feels like it started all over again from scratch like as as fierce as i used to get them i had with her two days ago because she just started getting a like a little congested in her nose and she started doing this little <coughs> like cough thing. Uh, uh. so i immediately go to she's got fucking some sort of rsv disease or something like that all right she has no right. immune system i didn't research anything i thought they don't i didn't think they had immune system. i thought that's why they couldn't go out for the first two three months because if they get sick they die uh, like I was in my head. I don't think it's quite like that. Well, that's I mean, what I like, thought. I thought if they get yeah, sick, they die. I mean, like, I only it. have one, but I don't think it's a, a sick and dead scenario. I, <laughs> well, fact, uh, I think it's the opposite because it's like a brand new car. You know, it's no, like all uh, the bolts are real tight. Yeah, yeah, they're real tough. Tight. Yeah. I think that's. I don't think that's how it works okay, either. That's fine. I think that's we're, fair. there's a middle to both of us. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fair. But but anyway. Um, but again, I'm not thinking logically. I just thought that, oh shit, this is it. Like, I call the doctor right away. Tracy's like, okay, we can call it that. She has no fever. She's fine. I'm like, oh, call no. the fucking doctor. I'll do it. I'll fucking call the doctor. Well, no so fever's I- a really good sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, um, yeah. So she got a little stuffy nose she goes and like, a cough. According to Seth, she went, <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> been cold and rainy. According I had Seth, a stuffy yeah. nose and a cough. Seth says she yeah. had a little, achoo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. She goes, achoo. She does that. And then she yeah, goes, it's oh. cute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. that's cute. But she's never done that, so I was freaking out. I took her to the doctor. The doctor looked at me like I was. I love an every asshole. little baby first something you're gonna call the doctor. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. I don't yeah. know. She's moving but, her but legs. This is the most normal thing she's Steph's crawling. ever done, by the way, because but I think that was a, at night. a lot of people do this. That was at night. So when she started doing it, it was at night. That night was the most awful. I can't even describe the nightmares that I had that night. It was like oh my god, horrible. This I woke up sweating. It was yeah, horrible, yeah, yeah. fucking horrible. Like I was having panic attacks in the middle of the night. I had to be, and it was manifesting as disgusting nightmares. Woke uh, up first thing in the morning. Dude, got, you like, gotta no get sleep. some help, man. Oh, I know. I, uh, <laughs> well, now I thought I was fine, and now it's just yeah, it's starting yeah. over with her. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck. I'm I'm like going through it now with her. Um, doctor, of course, was like. If you brought her in and didn't say anything to me, I would have said you had the perfect little baby. I'm like, okay, great. But, that doesn't help when but, you get the southern... Uh, well, you know, okay. I might have had that. It just because it sounded cool. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it did sound cool. It sounded <laughs> cool. You know what hypochondriacs need? character you're working with. You need an assistant to go have a meeting with the doctor before you go in to see the doctor. <laughs> That's so, the mom. So they know the mom. So, That's what Andrea does. Yeah, you, Andrea will walk in and be like, just so you know, this guy's completely batshit crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he's, uh, and then on the doctor, I'm like, oh, okay. Seriously, that, she yeah. does that. that there really? is an element of that. Yeah. So uh, I feel like that puts it in the doctor's head, and then he's not going to take it serious if there is something. Well, serious. the blood test or what? You know what I mean? Like, there's real yeah. things that are serious, but true, the, true, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, at you? That's not. Yeah, but, uh, but I'm with you. I get there's the, a couple at you. In yeah. my experience, at least you weren't high. I remember standing over the crib uh, and thinking she was dead, and figuring like, what well, I, I, I've done. I was like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I've checked her foot pulse a hundred times because she's. And I don't want to wake like, her up, but I can't see her breathing, and right. I can't feel anything. And yeah. like, I put my hand on her, but I'm so high, I can't feel a heartbeat. So. <laughs> it's like, oh. So it's still, it's back to a little bit better now because it's getting better. So I bought this uh, Frida Baby. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Do you got the Wendy? You got the Wendy? I don't know. I put it in my mouth and I literally sucked shit out of her nose. At first I yeah. gagged. And then I was like, this is kind of cool. And I started doing it like repeatedly and I feel bad because she's crying. So I got to stop doing it because it's like me. Oh, testing. God. You're going to suck her right out. 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 dry as a bone. She tries, yeah, yeah. The, she tries to cry yeah. and she can't cry because I'm oh, Too dry. Too dry to cry. Too dry to cry. So No, she goes, and it... Because I'm <laughs> sucking on it. <laughs> so she's crying she's backwards. Like, Moisture, please. Yeah. Oh so I, I Freedom Baby is a good product, but I think you're only, supposed, she's got dry mouth. you're only supposed to do it when there's a congestion. But I, I, there's shit coming out. And then I bought this baby nasal spray. I feel bad. I sprayed that. And she goes, uh, Baby really Afrin? Oh my God. You got you're a baby trucker. You're going to have time <laughs> on your hands. <laughs> yeah. this guy That's what the doctors are yeah. doing. It's just saline. Yeah. Next she'll be doing little scoops of baby Kratom, <laughs> oh, wearing a little God. trucker hat. I took her into my steam room and I steamed. I was in there. I was no, like, hold baby. On. You don't steam a baby. She told me to. Look how happy Tom is. Everybody. Look at Tom. Look how happy he is. I'll put the camera on him. Look how happy he is. Look at, him. Look, at him. Look how happy. I, don't know how happy. I had to monitor the temperature to make sure it wasn't too hot. So I have, I'm in my shower because it's a steam room as well. I have the steam going. I'm like, fuck, it's fucking hot. I'm like, is she yeah, fine? It's fucking hot. But she looks like she's okay, though. I don't know honey. much about babies. But I don't think you're supposed to take them into the steam room. <laughs> but they said humidifier. I'm like, what's better than a humidifier in the bedroom? A fucking steam room. It's like a dehumidifier. Or a humidifier. I'm pretty sure Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the steam room as a baby. <laughs> the steam room is for <laughs> Old Russian mobsters, <laughs> not babies, and my little half Asian, half Italian baby. <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, so but that loosened up the snot. Like I got a good chunk out that time. I, you know when she was in there, so she's getting a little bit better now. She's less congested. How's her workout regimen so far? She does these great little pull. Like, <laughs> he got me. her working out. Fuck it! Yeah. I have her in shkodachi, which is a, a karate stance. It's shoot, godachi. Uh. And I have her legs spread. Like standing up on me, and I hold her hand so she could hold me like a pull-up <laughs> bar and sit in this sumo type stance. And I'm like, okay, I dip her down and I like help her up, and she presses up. So she's going like, yeah, squat. He's gonna have a super baby. <laughs> like, what do you like, create? Yeah, okay, between the awesome. steam room, the overprotectivity, you know, like dude, he's yeah, yeah. creating the world's most perfect karate woman. <laughs> I have a bottle. He's creating the world's most. A gifted assassin. And I have her doing these neck extension things where it's because yeah. she could sit up perfectly yeah. now with her neck. And she she's got, not a tight, she got a strong neck. So what I do is, like, you Athlete. know, how they do the carrot and the donkey or the horse where they on the treadmill and they just follow it or whatever? Yeah, yeah. So I do the bottle in front of her. But I have her on a pillow, and I'm like, come on, you want the bottle, right? And she's hungry as shit. He's training. So she's, Every she's, day he trains her. So she's, 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 she's trying to get the bottle. This is like the witcher. He's got her he's going <laughs> through the training. How many weeks old is she? She's going through the training. She's Seven. doing flips. Seven weeks. Yeah. <laughs> he's training her to walk. She'll be walking. She'll but be she walking head, in one month. She has her head straight up Two now months. and can stay there and just look Wait, up. that's more than she's seven She's looking weeks, to man. escape. Hold on. She's got fucking steamer. Sam, look up, look up, like, a board-breaking record for baby. Oh, youngest board break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Youngest 
karate board break. Well, I'll do that. I'll just drop her butt. I'll just drop her. <laughs> no, 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 no. When the yeah. Guinness officials there, <laughs> she has to, she use has her to own do it and muscle. bow. Yeah, <laughs> she has to do it and then execute a perfect bow. Bow. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. show respect to the dojo. Yeah, I, understand. I oh, love that you're doing this. I, of course, because you know what? And I, it's your favorite thing to do in the and world. I've, right? I've tried a couple. Is it your new favorite thing? Right? Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to go to work anymore. I just want to sit and do that stuff. Okay. I knew that would happen. Yeah. So I knew that would happen. So this. I might quit the dojo. <laughs> what was Jeez, the story? What? What? Guy's losing his mind. Yeah, quit quit your job? He has to quit to change the assassin. I don't he's need the dojo job. I have two junk. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't need it. He's going to train the world's most deadly karate assassin. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you closing it? No, why are you not, thinking about it? Because I want it's fun. Like when I'm, I'm playing with you before I go to work, like I hate leaving and going to. Yeah, it sucks. So it. Seth, dude, has been pulled in. But you came it's, here. It's yeah, been, yeah. <laughs> got that love magnet. It's been pulling him in. Well, I need my hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I think your dojo makes you more money than coming here. <laughs> yeah, but it's easy and fun. But, uh, you know, I got to do with the yeah. not my kids like her at the dojo. <laughs> uh. I have three year old there's now. I started three year old uh, oh. tiny tiger program. It's so Seth, that's cool. tough. That's tough. Tiny tigers are tough. It's been, tiny tigers lick. The mirrors. <laughs> so maybe. Wait a minute. It's bad at the tiny tiger. You got the dumb dumb kids? <laughs> no, just no, all just, that age are just, tiny just, tigers. Just, are, they're, they're special tigers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they don't have any sense. I'm like, don't lick the dead. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> don't lick that. It's disgusting. Shit. Yeah. Right back to it. Well, the like, ones that like the punch, I had to yoke you know, by the D. Like, <laughs> you know what they say about yeah, them? A1. Uh, uh, they're the A1 Ninja <laughs> Star Stop. My daughter won't be licking mirrors. So uh, it's been my dream for one of my friend's babies to to break a record for yeah, babies. A record you got weird baby. dreams, man. And uh, I tried to... I, now. Uh, the, what's projectile shit? Pro, uh, is there one? No, 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 no that's no, easy. That's easy. That's yeah, no, any just, baby can so do that. When, <laughs> when my buddy the wizard had his new son, uh, I wanted them. Yeah. I wanted him to break the record for uh, youngest baby water skier. He's a Tarzan after, muscle I baby. do remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, and then I, I found the little water skiing. It looks like the, the water skiing apparatus that the squirrel would go on. Twiggy. Yeah, twiggy. <laughs> it's like the skis. <laughs> are, Twiggy's uh, back at, out of retirement. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Right. If you want to Google that for later, breaking news. It's basically like the skis are all uh, like combined. It has a There's bar. A rope all, at the top, just, yeah. Like the baby holds a the trainer. bar and you pull it. Yeah. And then I was telling the wizard, I was like, "You need to train Atlas, his son, uh, because he could break the record." It's like eight months. And uh, then the wives got involved. They started yelling at me that yeah. uh, they can't be doing this. And they, yeah, then it's done. But Seth, <laughs> I oh, feel okay. like yeah. your daughter could break some sort of ninja record. Oh, she's already training. Oh, yeah, and then she and could do it. And secretly training. We you got even, the drive. We haven't even seen what he's been doing. I guarantee he's been pushing the limit with her. Yeah. And your wife's young enough. The wizard's got, you know, uh, she's the mm, wizard's wife. Here. I mean, you're as old as all of us. Wife, I mean, really? you, you can't, if you, she's, you know. Are you really going to say yeah. the wizard's <laughs> wife is old? No, I'm saying old as <laughs> us. Uh, you know, so that's we're old now. She's not at the crow stage yet. Right? She's good. <laughs> no, if anything, I'm a crow. She crows. <laughs> no, I heard her. But uh, anyway. They all crow. So what record <laughs> could we beat? Uh, look up baby karate records, Sam, and then we'll see one. But, uh, How about you full, can train her. Which is more impressive to you, what? breaking of a board or a full kata? I feel like a full kata is more impressive because of the Mental cognitive. Was, yeah. Like, if he can get her doing the, the moves, people are going to be like, holy crap. That's hard because I've seen, I follow an account in from Japan where they have oh, like, yeah, there's, there's some a, Japanese babies. There's you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to have to move to Japan. And not only they do it, they, do, have it to move like, to Japan. they do it better than my adults. It's like you have crazy. to move to Japan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, yeah. If, what if you took your entire family to Asia? I already looked at islands in Japan. Okay. To move. You could move everybody there. But yeah. the, it's I love the culture and the people, but the housing and the, and the other... Uh, like comfortable things that go along with it is just not. Uh, okay, just, I forgot I mean, that Japanese babies. There, you're never going to be able to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> They're too but disciplined. Here, but you can become the best. They here. do grocery shopping at like three. I yeah, mean, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. That's every, why water skiing. Oh, I'm going to try to be that this But I'm every gonna, country needs it. a Chuck Norris, right? Like, I don't think <laughs> Chuck Norris was the best, but because he was a white dude and had a mustache, like uh, Wild Bill from GI Joe, everybody was kind of like, "Oh, this guy rips," right? Yeah, but Seth's baby's half Asian, so well, I know, uh, half. Uh, she's like, well, now. Oh, Tracy's like you got to lean into the white. Then. I don't know the math for can that. You, can you can you like pretend your baby's redneck? Japanese? Can you pretend your baby's well? Old? Tracy's redneck, so she's part redneck too. Okay, this is this is the <laughs> yeah, angle. Yeah. Redneck karate <laughs> baby is the uh, angle. You could tell. Uh, it's not full redneck. redneck. How about a bandana? <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> 
So what I, have you? I have a hachimaki. For, that's a bandana. That's okay. a head, headband. You're talking hachimaki? about hachimaki. 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 So yeah. I have a pink one with a red Japanese. Oh, that's storm. so cute. Like a war flag. Oh, man, Japanese you are one. you are just all in. Yeah, it doesn't fit you. I've tried it. I a couple love times. it. I'm like, I are you big how, enough yet? Are you big enough yet? I love how obsessed and you are. It's still like a big thing. On it's her. cute. So um, have you turned down all the vaccines yet? <laughs> <laughs> that's a new trend. I'm the <laughs> No. I, uh, yeah. I've heard people that are yeah. like, no. I just, I, and I'm like, oh, Jenny Mom. McCarthy? Yeah, <laughs> and then you always go, oh, she, she walked that back, by the way. <laughs> she did. Uh, yeah, but yeah. it still goes the on. The new thing uh. is you got to do it, and then you got to get on, like, you know, you know, uh, Reddit or something and be like, my family's pure blood. <laughs> I'm a pure blood. No, I asked whatever shot they had, even extra shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, extra shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got, she got the RSV one, which is a new one that just came out for, the, yeah, like, yeah. the babies. And it so ran. why the were you afraid she had RSV? V if she got the goddamn get, I, mean, I don't know we still get it <laughs> these vaccines don't work I just want to work do you know RSV <laughs> <laughs> Do you know RSV? You know, it's funny. I see the commercials, and I was like, I didn't even know what that is. I don't, I don't either. I don't either. I was <laughs> waiting for somebody to ask me I if like, I know RSV, and I was going to go, you know me? <laughs> I was like, what is that? Uh, so, Is there a rhino something virus or respiratory rhino something? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a new a thing. Rhino, yeah, whatever. Um, There's always some new thing. Yeah. But anyway, I gave it to her. But then the next day, they ran out. She's like, oh, good for you, because the other babies didn't get any. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> My baby will live. My baby got it. <laughs> but everything else going well? Uh, um, yeah. Besides the last two days was that. Uh, I feel a little bit bad for Tracy for her, the constant pumping and the constant milking. I call her. <laughs> I call her Tracy which, Cow now, which I don't know. If <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there is yeah. a lot of milking. Yeah. Yeah. They love that when you call them cows when they're yeah. being milked. I was like, yeah. go to your cow. Was she mom. freaked out that I drank her milk? Uh, wait, oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, no, I don't think she was. That's she was the last time you were in here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy. yeah. Did you tell her? I oh, yeah, I told her. her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you get hard <laughs> while telling her? Like, were you like, I'm, I'm slightly hard? <laughs> No, but yeah. So with the women, that kind of grossed me out, and I'm not even that guy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I strike myself as a bit of a fear factor, but, <laughs> but I am not trying to keep up with how much she's eating and to, to pump that much is a lot. So I feel yeah. bad. But is I she is she able to produce enough? Yeah, it's like just enough. Nice. So I'm like trying to give her. Tips. She got the big. I shouldn't be doing that. She got I'm purple crusties. You're mansplaining breastfeeding. <laughs> Does she have the purple crusties? I'm not mansplaining it, but I'm like, look, I just read that this. Uh, can we try this? Can we try this? That is a nice way. You got to ask. Oh, yeah. Like, I try. Yeah. Do, well, but then I have, follow with, like, look, I'm they, older. I know what I'm talking about. Does she have them raw? <laughs> so, do I'm you joking. put the bag bomb? I got fat nipples. <laughs> oh, yeah. She has bomb on it. Yeah. You got to put the bomb, the bomb on them because they they're get. Always, they're itchy a lot. They get purple it. and crusty. But yeah, she's yeah. got ones where you wear. She puts them on and you wear them around. You can do anything you want. Like, she can do. Kar- she was at fucking teaching karate. And with pump them. And you hear. It's a fucking robot. That's the battery going. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. like doing it. Oh my god. Andrea yeah. couldn't pump sitting down. I mean, like you. Yeah. Let alone be uh, working yeah. on a construction. Just work. get the formula. Don't yeah. even. It's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's it's fine. But when I got the formula, I didn't get anything made here. I went like and got the best stuff I found in like yeah. in Australia. Goat Europe. formula. Goat. I got goat. One. I got, <laughs> yeah. That's what I got. Yeah, yeah. You got to get the J Rob. You got to get the J Rob baby formula. Make the toughest. But I haven't given it to you because I don't want to give her formula. I want. Yeah. If if the mom's having no problem, you're good. Yeah. And then if the mom is having a problem, you're still good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, you're half good, but yeah. So, uh, so how's the dojo going? Dojo's great. It was a little uh, iffy for a couple months. Not iffy, but just it slowed down holidays like yep. always. But I ran a new special. It's two weeks for 25 bucks, So you can come and try all the classes out you want for 25 bucks, all which right. is dirt cheap. Do you guys have Tootsie Rolls? Um, we do have Tootsie Rolls <laughs> under the desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some candy. We have oh, lollipops. Upgrade tootsie. the candy game, I like man. a snick snack. Is that a little sweet treat. I got There's some good little... ones down there too that the oh, kids okay. like. Yeah. I don't know what the hell they are. I don't know. Candy. I might show up for some candy. <laughs> yeah, I love a good. I tried, you know I tried convincing my kids on smooth and melties, and everyone thought I was the weirdest guy. No one knows what that is. Smooth and melties. What is that? Smooth and melties. That's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Really? Yeah, for real. I don't know. I'm gonna. I don't know what it is either. Smooth and melties. You'll know if you see it. You'll know it. It's these like pink, green, like oh, they're like pastel mint, pastel mint looking things with the what? This is for grannies. No, it's for fucking me. It's so good. Oh, oh, these are ta- these are church men. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> yeah. Those are my. I used to s- even find these. I used to see. Yeah, they're impossible. That's why when I find them, I get a whole case. <laughs> what the hell is that? I sit you know, like, Give me the fucking tootsie roll over yeah. this. Even no, our no, no, guests no, no. are laughing at you. <laughs> what? Really? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, yeah. Tell you another. <laughs> our guests what? are. <laughs> well, you gotta try it. Don't knock into each other. No, they're I'll good. I'll try it. But I'm it, telling you. It's just you. a mint, right? 
but they're creamy, milky mints. They're so good. <laughs> Are these like the ones I used to have at the Holiday House? Do you guys remember the Holiday House? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like the there was after a restaurant in Orlando mints? and Deland. Yeah, they were what? all pastels, like Easter color mints, yeah, and no. they were chalky. I did love them. I'll, you, I'll go with no, you. I did love them. But you can't get the little. There's a version of little ones, and there's a. Uh, one about this size, like a quarter size. You got to get the quarter size. I, ones, dude, but... I, I don't think I've ever had a smooth and melty. Oh, so good. The and they like, are called it? smooth and melties. Yeah, yep. we got to oh, find I know. these. I okay, it. I'll get you some, and we'll we'll taste test yeah. these on the show. Hell yeah! Very All right, interesting. So yeah, but besides uh, the dojo is good with that. I started three year olds. It's called the Tiny Tigers. So we, we took the four and five year olds that were in the regular class, Kid Cobra class, moved them to the Tiny Tiger class, and now I have a three, four, and five year old class. All by themselves. Shorter class, 30 minutes, because their attention spans, I learned, aren't as... Do you weaponize you know, any of the older, the five-year-olds? Like, what are they called? Gor- baby gorillas? or The tiny tiny tigers is the young ones. Okay. Kid cobras. Okay. So do you, with the kid cobras, do you go like, uh, you know, do you have a five-year-old that shows promise? And he, I'm like, do you want to get into the kid cobra? And not there right? to fuck around. You're like, all right, you're my uh, enforcer. You're, oh, yeah, yeah. You're helping me discipline the tiny tiger. Yes, I bring some of the higher belt kid cobras to the tiny tiger program and let them beat them with shenanigans. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, yeah. But I have them, you know, drill them. That's well, what every yeah, scam, yeah. scammy Seth, thing does. <laughs> Seth, <laughs> Seth knows. I do have them pick... Go ahead, sorry. I don't know, I'll, I, and you'll relate to the Seth because... Free when, labor. If you see kids doing something athletic uh it becomes a way a 100 fact that genetics is 99 percent of everything that plays into what a kids can do at first yes you know, i know but you like even going with uh max and tommy to their cross country well like we're huffing and puffing around the field and then some kids are just <laughs> full on yeah. running full speed yeah. past us and then not stopping and i'm like that's not practice <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. that kid yeah. like he's like you know, how does it feel this to be third... trading the globe drive? <laughs> what are they called? The generals. <laughs> if this kid's in third grade. It's oh. not like he's been running. He knows the party. Like he just can run. So uh, I don't know where Vera's going to be though, because I was. I don't think I was like that as a kid. I'm like that now, but as a kid, I was fat, unathletic. I, I think. What was the change I mean, was for you? Fun, what was the turn? The, so you were a heavier kid, getting bullied in like fourth. Were you a grade? video game kid? What were you? I played video games a lot, but I did karate too. I was doing karate. I was a karate nerd, but I guess I didn't really. I went and did karate for but an hour. When night, was but the it, when was the fitness switch? When did the fitness switch go off? Probably like right in in high, like beginning of high school, like freshman year. Because you were horny. And but you got the you yeah. got the genetics for it too, though. Uh, yeah, 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 the genetics are there. My dad, dad my dad shape, had a right? six pack until he was like fifty. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's God, genetics. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no messing with that. Yeah, if your dad has a six pack, uh, genetics. Not now, uh, and I'm trying to bully him back <laughs> to being like the way he was. So speaking of six packs and old men, um, Vince McMahon. Oh um, my God, so, it's so great. So, uh, well, it's not great. I shouldn't say that. No, no. And let me preface this by saying uh, we are about to get uh, horrible here. <laughs> <laughs> Not our, it's not our fault. We are just going to report yeah, yeah. what's we happening. We are reporters, here. and it's our duty to report these things. So a story came out today. Daniel told me about when I walked in about Vince McMahon and uh, about uh, there was a lawsuit filed by a former WWE employee. Yes. And um, and she had worked there. I'm not sure what years, but I know like Vince McMahon was. He stepped down. They came back. And then there's TKO, well, which is dude, like a holder's group. This is the group. year that everybody's going to get taken the, down. Yeah. He did it. That's what Cat Williams said. Cat Williams said is the year everybody's going to get taken down. Is this like a Me Me Too thing or something? Well, the you this is like almost heavier than him. This is like this is just like what the the same vein. It is, but it's like what the fuck. Here's the thing: when I first heard about it, I'm like, oh yeah, the sexual uh, uh, you know uh, misconduct allegations by Vince McMahon. Not surprising, right? At 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 first, slapping some asses. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then you then you could you could understand. It's still horrible, but you can understand the boss uh, sexually harassing uh, their female employees, especially a guy like Vince McMahon. And then, uh, you know, so all that stuff, you're like, okay, you you think it's the standard. Then you start reading the story, which Daniel told me some quotes. I don't even know the whole story because I feel like there's too much to dig into. And And every time I think I've come to the end of how bad it is, I get a whiff of something else that's extra horrible. (laughs) Yeah, so... uh, one of the allegations, by, but this is from one female. From a female, yes. Uh, but then you start reading the the other uh, like information, and then like the, the I guess the parent company TKO uh, did some deep diving into uh, Vince McMahon, and yeah. then he had paid off like 
$14.6 million in hush money mm. to other women as well. And then there's there's like 19.7 number that it was in another article of hush money that he paid it, out. It's, and then it's just it, millions. It, it, yeah. So it's like millions you know, and millions. This one woman's allegation seems, like I said, it's going to go to court and I guess it'll be fleshed out and, well, you know, whatever. The, there will be a jury and we'll see what happens. God, in this case, but, they figured out. But, well, is it a civil lawsuit? Yeah, it's a civil lawsuit. So then lawsuit. there won't be a jury. Oh, okay. Well, there, I think there will be. I think civil lawsuits have juries too. Um, uh, I don't. That's yeah. not my. I, that's not something yeah. I, I know. You know, and, uh, civil lawsuits do have juries, uh, and no, some go to arbitration, and who knows? Because uh, you know, when you sign contracts, is a lot of times when you sign com- contracts with giant companies, it says like you can't go to regular court. It's got to be arbitration uh-huh. only, which is so a way for them is, to control it. Right. So this but, is anyway. This is the releasing rather of the story that was when he stepped down. Correct. So yeah. this is why he stepped down. Yeah. Obviously. And um, so, so, what do you want me to start? They're okay. horrible. I mean, I can put them up for people to read too. It's just, oh my god. So the like, Cliff I was Norton. expecting the standard uh, sexual abuse here of the boss and the employee, right? right. That we've all heard right. for for years. Having right? sex and then he uses the power to manipulate the entire. Look, yeah, we know, yeah, the, yeah. We know yeah. the way it works. Yeah, yeah. Using your power and you. Like, you want to be on air? You're gonna fuck me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's the uh, age old tale yeah. of monsters from yeah, yeah. day and you know yeah. like hundreds and thousands of guys so but that wasn't the first quote that this is like leading all these stories it's everywhere and everybody can look it up the first quote was something you want to oh, do you want the yeah. worst one yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah. here i'll put this one. Oh no that's the wrong the, this one this is the one they the led one. with this is the one they yeah they led with it says, as one example of McMahon's extreme depravity on May 9th, 2020, he defecated on Ms. Grant during a threesome and then commanded her to continue pleasuring his, quote, friend with feces in her hair and running down her back while McMahon went to the bathroom to shower off. Upon his return from the bathroom, McMahon and his friend actively resumed the threesome, which lasted over an hour and a half while Mrs. Grant remained covered in McMahon's filth. Then McMahon's friend left, and McMahon (laughs) ordered her to stay and continued to sexually gratify him. What the hell yeah, is that's this? A, that's a that's so, a big one. I mean, it's bad, but <laughs> come on, this guy shit on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we've had, he pooped on her head. Durham, like what? He's an eighty-year-old man. No, 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 he's an eighty-year-old man. Did he do it on man. accident? Was he like no? No, not do it on accident. On accident. <laughs> so think, <laughs> <it. laughs> he's pooping so hard. He yes, no. I've. <laughs> He's done it. He's I've done it. I've seen girls poop when they're getting uh, having so sex. So you're pumping crazy so hard. Yes. She shit. All... Yes. No, come on. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. No, cut no, this no, out. Don't cut say it. you're not kidding. Oh. Don't say anything. Stop talking. Okay. Okay. Don't, 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 don't. Who are you talking no, no. to? Well, are you talking to me? Also, don't say this in some sort of defense. <laughs> no, it's not defense. No, no, I'm just saying. I, I pump my wife so hard she shit on me. <laughs> if you're old, no. if you're old, you can't control. Like, I fart when I key in karate on accident. I don't mean to fart. You fart when you key a car. No, no. Kia, yeah, oh, okay. Karate. When I'm giving <laughs> count, I'm so confused. I can just see an old person uh, maybe shitting on accident, but Wait, he is an when, old person. He's an eighty-year-old man. How old was he when he did this? Well, the allegations in, in twenty twenty, I think it had. Okay, so not the, that long ago. Yeah, he's in his seventies. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's an eighty-year-old man. He's got a long. We talked to an eighty-year-old man this morning. I, I brush my teeth and head. pee comes out of me sometimes. Yeah, we talked to well, Wallace Shawn. Wallace Shawn this morning, legendary <laughs> character actor yeah. Wallace Shawn this morning for a future ACT. There's no way that that man has the strength to shit on anybody. No. So so. <laughs> This is what I don't understand because I this is a, a behavior that I can't even understand why he was compelled to do this, and I've never even heard of this beyond. W- remember we talked about like the sheiks and the harem yeah. of like American. Your wife women? is like she wants to clear her name right now. This might be her calling, but she's in the chat. She says, "What the fuck? Absolutely not." My wife. Do you want to pick it up? Oh, she's it might be her. <laughs> she, she wants to clear her name that she did not. Uh, thank, thank you for calling. A mediocre time. Is this a... Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. Can you hear us? Hello? Let's Line see. one uh. is flashing. Oh, Hello? No. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Nope, that's not her. Who is that? <laughs> I hope that's not her. Did you shit? Did I shit? Yeah, did Seth pump you so hard you shit? That's what we <laughs> no, were no, told. That, uh, come on, this is a dude. No, no but he... <laughs> I mean, if I was gay, he could. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Fun that, Friday. That kind of show. 
So Tracy, I'm not oh, saying Tracy did. Energy. I'm saying I've heard and known of people that do. That, I have never had. Mm-hmm. I have never made love to any woman. First of all, I've <laughs> never made love to a man. I've never made love in the butt. I've, I'm just going through the. I'm setting the precedent here. But I've never made love to anyone where there was shit involved okay. ever. Not even one second time. Secondhand information. I just heard it. That's all. I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, uh, so think about this for a second. So and now the allegations go on and on. How how did he do it? He like basically. And was it diarrhea? He was he standing? Well, it, it was it solid. It, oh. it, it, it no, it said it ran down her back, which I'm guessing it wasn't just a like one of Maggie's hard black turd logs that you can kick around and it doesn't get on you. I'm imagining this was a mess. Plus, he's an old man, and I'm thinking they got soft ones. Yeah, but mm, no one else is useful. is. Shocked by him doing this? I am totally shocked by him <laughs> doing this. this. And you ask yourself why? You I know. wouldn't say I'm totally shocked. You know what really? I'm most shocked about? I'm not even most shocked about him shitting on her no. head. I'm most shocked that he showered and came back and then that's, had a woman with shit in her hair blow him. That's a that's little more crazy. shocking. Well, that they about- continue, that they continued after the shower while she's still covered in shit. That's a little. Is this Tracy? Would you like to clear no, her name? She's. She said she said Vera's crying. Yep. Or she'd call. Oh, okay. This is the guy that wants. Okay, what to fuck about what do you need to say so bad? <laughs> How much money? Sir? You got? Okay, hey, hey, Big Rick, I just wanted to uh, uh, oh, promote the, the the event I'm doing tonight. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we'll promote it later. We don't want you to derail the fun thing we're doing you don't right want, now. Trust me, you don't want to promote anything yeah, during not this right segment. Now, okay? This segment's bad. Okay, bad timing, uh, Rick. <laughs> have fun talking about his poop. Okay, you know? yeah, right. you knew that, Rick. You knew you, there was a bad time to call. <laughs> So, um, also, the other dude in the room was, or she says it was, by the way, all these right now are oh, allegations they too? that McMahon is denying yeah. and then it's going to go to court, right? But I will say that the detail of this in particular is a detail I feel like you are not lying about. Like, my first instinct it's is that... It's too crazy it's, to lie about it. Also, yeah. it's... <clears throat> Got to be embarrassing to her to even admit that this happened. Of course, right? Yeah. So it seems like if this was totally false, you wouldn't just make this allegation up no. that you were forced into a threesome, and while you were doing the threesome, Vince McMahon turned around and pooped you don't know on that your he head. Turned around. You don't know that he turned <clears throat> around. You added that. That's what I was trying to figure out. Did he just walk over her and shit? Did he turn around and shit? How do you shit on I, someone's it, head? I don't even about? know how I would shit on somebody's head. That, and also, I'm short, so it'd be hard for me. Wasn't the uh, okay? I put, who was the other person? The uh, it was so, the so head mother. of talent relations. Uh, it was, oh, it wasn't it? Dan- These are all people you've met, oh, by really? the way. Yeah, yeah no, these a lot are of the time. Yeah, Daniel are, showed it to me. Yeah. I was like, I recognize you know that this guy. guy. I'm pretty sure he probably wants you to shit on his head. Mm. So, I mean, I'll do it. So, this, uh, so, but think <laughs> about what is like. So, you're in the room with Vince McMahon having a threesome with this girl, mm-hmm. and then Vince McMahon during the threesome, I'd yell at him. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Poops on her <laughs> what head. What are you right? doing, you dumb old man? You <laughs> just shit on the hot girl we're banging. Right. What so, the fuck? And, I'm leaving. So why? So how did the other guy react? Like, well, how did they don't address that? I mean, but Vince got stinks. up and took a shower, and then he it's left. Stink. And then it's the stink. guy left. What? But no, what Vince, is this? Vince came back, and then the guy left. I'm guessing that once Vince shit on her, the guy's like, "Oh fuck you, I'm out of here." And he <laughs> left. That and what Vince is like, "I'm taking a shower." Oh, he's like, "I no, take- it says that she continued pleasuring the friend with shit in her hair while he was in the yeah. shower. Guys, right. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll be right back. This is the XFL. I, I know this is. Uh, I'm gonna shit on your head. <laughs> way too far, <laughs> but this is uh, what. What's in the news today? Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, happening. News. And this is described on CNN and all hey, the news this sources. Is what, Tom, this is what I say. If, if, I, if getting this story out stops one woman from getting shit on her head... <laughs> We've, yeah, done yeah. Our, we've done our due diligence. And apparently, our, he, our he, he tried to sign a non disclosure with this person. And uh, and then, uh, you know, she um, came out with this because she's like, this is, uh, uh, you know, she yeah. believes it's a pattern. She's this cute, stop, too. Stops uh, other. Right. You, you might know, even know his, her. She had a job at WWE. Who is it? So, Janelle Grant. So, um, another thing that came out in the story is that also, like, he's being accused oh, yeah, of, poop face. of <laughs> sex <laughs> trafficking. And, yeah, well, uh, I mean, he, he was setting up, uh, through a series of text messages that I have, he was setting up, like, times for them to, here are the messages, I'll put those up, like, t- for this other guy, you know, he was setting up, basically, like, pimping her in a way of, like, okay, he's gonna, John's gonna get Tuesdays and Saturdays. 
And yeah, then, he's trafficking her. Yeah, yeah and then I'm going to get oh, all... Yeah, oh, And then, yeah. like, including it into wrestlers' contracts and then this uh, part Allegedly, of the story. Yeah. Alleged, there's all allegations, obviously, yeah. but it's, it's in the news. So, uh, apparently, uh, Vince McMahon allegedly offered Brock Lesnar uh, this woman as, like, as some sort of bonus for signing <laughs> yeah. a contract. And then here's the text. It <clears throat> says, um, Vince is talking to her about offering this in, allegedly, Brock's contract. He says, here's what, and then it's redacted, said, after I told him the part of the deal was fucking you. LOL, that's your turf. She will be ruined after me and leave your ass. Plus, after me, your tool won't fit anymore. Five God laughing emojis. Damn. So that th- does sound like something. Uh, Sounds like Brock. Would say. But yeah, that, that, but sure. then Brock uh, Lesnar. Uh, there's a like I guess a text message exchange between um, uh, her and Lesnar. Where yes, where, I have that. Hold on, you sent that to me. Where um, I guess Vince McMahon was like, "Oh, she'll send you nude pictures of herself or something." You know, whatever it yeah. is. And then Brock Lesnar said this, which. Uh, there's a lot of poo poo and pee pee in the story, which I don't understand. Because yeah, I, I don't never get it. Either. Not thing, though. No. There's people that are into that. I know, I, but I okay. thought it was uh, an anomaly. Here's the quote. How? It, why are these people? They're athletes, man. Why you do some weird? <laughs> Here's but, the quote. It okay. says, after a few months, McMahon is said to have given Grant's cell phone number to WWE star, um, allegedly Lesnar, according to the Wall Street Journal, who asked her to send a video of herself urinating. The suit claims <laughs> that after. She she did. He called her, quote, a bitch. <laughs> so what? Why did she send it? So I think it's funny uh, uh, that it is well, funny on the surface level of like, send me a picture of you pissing. But like, why did okay. he want Did you send the picture of her pissing and you go, bitch? Dude, <laughs> are, that, that's a weird There exchange. are people that hide cameras in toilets to watch women pee. Oh, yeah. I can't I, tell you I why know. they like it, but I, they like it. I know. This but, guy likes it. He but likes why, pee. But why is it pink man and lizard? And like, they're so cl- I thought, you know, they'd be Old scattered. Old showers are a thing. Yeah, you're not, a, you're not drunk with power. You're if never you going to understand it. Is it a power? Power thing? It's got to be. Like, do you get... Because the it's sheiks, the same remember? Thing. Okay, I was going to bring the that sheiks, up. The sheiks, the hummus. There used to be a... Um there used to be an account earlier on in Instagram that Tom and I followed, and it was like hummusface.com or something. Oh, by the and, way, they shut that down. Yeah, they shut it down. It is, oil it money. is slightly racist. I get it. Look, but it was like a page where these guys would out influencer women that were being paid to go to like Dubai and other like crazy places and then they would be like it's like traffic and they'd be shit on and the yeah. whole joke was like that these guys like to shit on people yes. it's a thing it's a thing uh-huh. it's a sh- like there are Who really rich it? men a lot of rich men like, like to it. shit on people's heads <laughs> piss and shit yeah so, yeah because it's a power thing I, 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 yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> i'm just right. keeping my mouth shut <laughs> there's now, a lot of guys okay, yeah, yeah. That yeah, yeah, like so, to piss and shit on people so maybe <laughs> not sexually you could explain oh, wait not sexually no he Seth. does he likes it as a prank yeah, yeah. Like, no oh. no that that i usually like that. The, the head of a couple organizations, big organizations I fought for, we used to throw each bags That's of different. shit in each other's. That's like, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the prank. Jack, but it's yeah. the same type of thing. Like, no, oh, it's I, not. I'm, I'm, I'm a, it's I'm not. a bigger man. You have to throw my. Sh- you're gonna fucking sleep in my shit. No, you're gonna sleep with the pill. Shit, my shit uh, on your. It pillow. is a power thing there. Yeah, a little so bit. it's like I'm forcing you. I'm forcing my shit on you. Yeah, it's kinda. degrading. Yeah, it's degrading. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like you're. But some up. people like it. Like That's McAfee, what I'm saying. you mean the people getting shit on? Well, McAfee's yeah. a different animal where he wanted the housekeepers to shit on him. Yeah. So that, that was also yes. a power thing. That was him relinquishing power yes. to them, saying, right. "I'm giving this to you. You're in charge. Treat me like a little shit bitch." Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Sh- don't pull that, Melissa. But that's, Jesus Christ, pull that one. But that to me is way less horrible because it's like you pay a sex worker to poop on your poop on you. I agree. And it's like she you're in control. Agreed to no, poop you're on in control of that but, one. But then you're pooping on someone's. Uh, I don't even... I don't Why? Want that. I don't want that. Also, how did you think this was <laughs> never going to surface? Because he's done a million things other than yeah. this that have not surfaced. He's paid off so many people. There <laughs> I, are rumors that's, about, why, that's why this is not shocking million. to me, because I've read so many bad things about Vince McMahon that I'm like, yeah, he is not Sam, a good person. There are rumors about Vince McMahon when I right. finally became a, a... When I was like, a kid. Yeah, like in 86, there's rumors about him, uh, allegedly... There's uh, always been rumors raping about him. referees. You know, there's been all Always, Always. sexual. Thi- well, yeah. most people describe him as a 
um, just a really good businessman, but he's a he's a trash redneck. Yeah. Yes. Other wrestlers have described him as a, he's no different than any other carnival worker at any yeah. other fair that you would not put your kid on the ride. He's he's the same guy. He just has a nicer suit. No different. Piece of shit. Well, he's a cutthroat business. He's man, just a piece of shit. Um, but the, the all the like I just can't wrap my head around. I mean, it. Well, you pooped on her, no. and then, then well, all the, the that other I can't stuff. get around. I even told Andrea this Why? morning when I was telling her this, and I was sending it to her, and she's like, "Gross, I can't believe this." I was like, "Here's the thing, I can't the, the shitting on. Maybe if it's a power thing, I can get that." What I can't get is I shit on Andrea, and then I go to the shower, I shower up, I come back, and Andrea's sitting there. I guess I don't know, flicking through Netflix with shit all over, and I'm like, "You want to do it again?" <laughs> and we yeah. start fucking again. She's covered in shit. He's a it's, sicko. It's, it's a boredom thing too. Like they've been. He's ha- fucked how many yes. chicks? So many different ways. And, and that's like, why everyone. Let's something to make it yeah. different. Exciting. So it's like the and just fuck, just fuck it's like It always gets. Diddy it always ends up being shit. It always. I, I think that they've, they've you got to take it more extreme, so, yep. more extreme, yep. more extreme. Yep. I yeah. think that's a myth. I don't think no, I don't you think go. You get so bored. You're like, what if I shit on this person's head? I don't think that's true for everyone. But I think that happens with some people. Yeah, it's like almost an addiction. You're. you are you are like what if i shit on this person's head what if i shit on this person's head you you can't get your fix anymore just by regular sex, right? So you're going to fucking bump well, it up. You see how extreme you could take it. And- yeah. Go shopping. Go on Amazon. Buy yourself a treat. Here's why <laughs> I don't think that it's a boredom thing is because, like, let's look at foodies that love uh, all different types of food. They never s- then turn to shit. But, <laughs> you know, some, like, but they what try, does shit like, taste like? like, you know, balls Grass and brains. Well, it's not and, it's not they the try sh- weird stuff that I wouldn't eat. Take shit out of the equation to go along with what Sam's saying. The only thing that I, I can align with is that it's extreme. So it's yep. not about the shit. Exactly. It could be, I mean, you could replace. Could be vomit. Could be pee pee. Yeah, you could, could replace be, shit with oh, anything. Disgusting. There are some people. I mean, some people don't sex. like to get cum on their face, but guess what? A lot of people get cum on their face. Yeah. Yeah. You hear that, Andrea? You hear that? <laughs> but um, the, what about the girls that like guns in their mouth while you're pumping them yeah, from behind or choking them? Wait, yeah, yeah. What, guns in their mouth? No, yeah, I, I dated a girl who likes a gun in her mouth. Okay. Yeah, it was hard for me. I got little arms. Well, I understand there's different fetishes. That never happened. That should, was a surprise. You should shit on anyway. a gun and then stick it in her mouth. <laughs> oh it is. This is too far. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. got to get into the uh, second segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to lose all our sponsors. <laughs> we started <laughs> with baby talk and then we ended uh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to break. <laughs> We're done with this. Okay, I like it. Right. Uh, but, by the way, this is in the news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is we're the news. Ju- we're just g- more graphic about it. The, 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 well, we can share the real stuff. This is what the news wants to talk about. They can't even say it. This is written. I feel like this is just going to go i mean it just feels like all that horrible things that i keep hearing about just kind of goes away like what's going to happen mm, yeah there'll be some know. settlement you know no, exactly yeah, 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 yeah. There, you know who knows like, you this, know but this uh, lady's about to get yeah a, well again it is a civil suit he's not going to jail unless and, and if the settlement's big enough uh all the other um it might be like a diddy situation where he just fucking pays it quietly and makes well, it go away if yeah, there well, were anybody to have enough money away. to do it it would be him yeah but, but exactly. the, the thing is if if she gets a large settlement out of this all the other hush money he paid oh, they're gonna start looking yeah, it starts bubbling she's gonna start shitting on other people it's, a, it's no. a deshaun watson yeah. uh, you know they all of a sudden Sean watson's yeah. involved no, no, no. they start lining up yeah uh, that's that's what happens yeah. um uh, the name of the band well it's not even a band this is a uh this is a really great or- artist. I know you guys know Laura Jane Grace. Brand new music from her right here. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time right after this. one eight four four T O M N D A N. If you'd like to call, show at tomadan.com for emails. I was having a threesome last night oh, come with on. my buddy. All right, come on. And I was about to take a shit on my wife's head <laughs> no, and then go on. shower off. Come on. They don't want this in the no. commercial. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut it out. <laughs> no, no, that, anyway, I would never, for the record, I would never yeah, yeah, have a threesome. Voluntarily. Yeah, and I would never shit on my wife's head <laughs> and then let it roll down her back. And then when you left, because you're in the scenario, you leave and then I'm like, get come back on. in here. Fair Villa Megastore, there's multiple locations. Their Megastore, their original Megastore yep. on OBT, yep. um, they have uh, the most there because it's the biggest. Costumes, lingerie, um, uh, festival wear, uh, like mild wild. And then what I mean by yep. that is how crazy you want to be. Do yep. you, uh, they got it. And they got new technology. You have to see yeah. what, oh. it, the, in 2023. Yeah, you can swipe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, swipe it up, swipe it down. I'll speak, vibrate this, Bluetooth that. Speak 
speaking of lingerie, a huge selection in their Sanford location. I have bought a lot of lingerie for Andrea at Fair Villa. A lot of body suits, a lot yep. of like, uh, she has a pair of genie pants mm. that are cut from the waist all the way down to the ankle. So just the sides of her legs hangs out. All right, I like I'm that. I'm into yeah. it, dude. Um, there's also a location on the coast. There's a location on I Drive. There's a location Secrets Hideaway in Kissimmee. But here's the Palaka, best part: Palaka, Key West, yeah. you know, Fairvilla.com. Here's the best part: their staff. They're uh, yeah. super knowledgeable. Not a lot of turnover. A lot of these people have been working for Fair Villa. I mean, there's people that have worked there for like 20 years. Yeah. And yeah. when you talk to these people, they've had relationships with the companies that build the sexual wellness products for 20 years. So it's a lot of people. People that have a lot of knowledge. So if you are a little concerned or, you know, maybe a little intimidated, don't be. Just go to Fair Villa. Well, here's a great event. I know Valentine's Day is coming up, Mm -hmm. um, and they're doing an event Thursday, February 1st from 7 to 9. It's their Love Potion number 69 event. Um, I like that. And uh, and it's a perfect opportunity. You know, I haven't 69 in a while. Write that down. You aged out of there. Yeah. I have um, not aged out of it. Are you crazy? And it doesn't work because, you know, the height difference between you and Andrew. More like a 43. More like a 43. I, 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 I just head button or stomach. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, you can. that's going to be at their um, uh, mega store location on Orange Blossom Trail. Uh, but they've got, uh, you know, a, a bunch of things going on. Games. Um, and it's a perfect opportunity to go shopping uh, after the they event. They usually hook you up. They give you like a little, maybe if you buy something, they give you an incentive. If they knock some some money off, they might have a, a little snick snack, a bite to eat, a cocktail or two. You know oh, what I yeah. mean? Like it's a little mingle party. Um, they used to do these all the time before the soup of COVID, and now they're just now getting back to the point where they do a lot of these. Again, guys, check it out. Yeah, product demonstrations that day. Uh, you can find everything at fairvilla.com. Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, Seth is here. Yeah. Samantha's here. Um, our buddy Rick that had called in earlier wanted to plug. Uh, this is, there's a cool benefit going on right now at 1010 Brewery, which yeah. is our good friend Mike Wallace, who is always doing something great for the community. And they make delicious beers. What are the details on that? Because I want to get his Yeah, so his it's this evening, January 26th at 6 p.m. at 1010. It's the 1010 Meetup, a hand-up fundraiser for the Boston family. Uh, there was a local beer rep, Ken Boston, who was actually trying to help somebody on the turnpike that got into an accident. I heard about this. Um, yeah. And then he actually got hit by a vehicle. So he uh, was in the hospital, and he needs to get his medical bills paid. So um, they're doing a meetup at 1010 this evening at 6. You can buy raffle tickets. Nice. Uh, they're going to have bottles of beer and so prizes after to the give show. away. Yeah. So after the show, I could scoop by 1010, uh, get a bottle of beer, help out the family. And, t- and 1010's always got good music. They always got the big green egg going. So go... Uh, Mm. Go uh, support people in need and help out, y'all. Yeah, and if you can't make it, I'm sure if you hit up Big Rick on Facebook yep. or something, you can probably donate. Yeah, I think he's Rick somewhere. Big on yes. Facebook, so Correct. search him out. So, Seth, do you mm. scroll many videos on the internet like the rest of humanity? I do. Okay. It's um, horrible. And when it, and I'm sure you've noticed the algorithm skewing all shit videos. Oh, <laughs> well, that makes sense. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, I'm, joking. I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Uh, you probably get like karate. I get karate. I got a lot of racist stuff for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that also for tracks. For some reason. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the algorithm you did, knows you who you are. You did dress in blackface, yeah. so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, yeah. bearded guys with uh, American flag hats yeah, yeah. doing oh. soliloquies in, in their truck. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have heard. Let me tell you what's wrong with America. Lot, a lot yeah. of science stuff. I get science creationism stuff, like religious stuff. I get because I guess you know, I always search. That. Okay, know, I was yeah. big into researching that stuff. It's funny uh, because I have heard other people are like I don't know why I keep getting shown that. <laughs> oh, that, that was well, the funniest part when a lot of the politicians were trying to get TikTok shut down. Yeah. And they're like it's just little kids dancing. It's like my algorithm yeah. is not that. So why are you watching a bunch yeah, of kids I, dancing? I, I <laughs> actually know. I wanted to no, thank they knew. you and Tom. We know Sam. You and Tom were pretty instrumental and me, like my tiktok and instagram reels are i've got it dialed in real good it is only giving me what i want it's like music stuff and west highland terriers yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you fixed your rhythm all yeah. terriers yeah. 
So then we thought we can do a segment where we share a video from our algorithm yeah. uh, called mm. What's in Your Rhythm. You want me to do the song? And uh, Jackal made us a yeah, intro. he did. Which, by the way, I haven't heard this, but we should compare. We should You should make an AI intro, and then let's compare and see. All right, we'll, okay. do, we'll do a vote. Yeah, because we're going to... Jackal took some time with okay. this. We'll have to pay him, compensate him. Fair for enough. And we don't and, have to pay... Oh, um, actually, I guess we do have to pay no, he's, spo- he's supposed <laughs> yeah, to be but, doing a video from my damn dojo. What the hell? Oh. Well, that's not as fun. Oh, this yeah. is more fun. Yeah, it is. is We're fun. actually doing a music video for the dojo. Oh, yeah. my God. You're doing but a music, music video. video. Oh, it's to what song? In it? I made, I'm writing the... Li- well, he's You're right. writing I'm helping a song. <laughs> yes. 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 Come to my kick, dog. Punch. Kick, punch. No, kick punch. You want to be baby tiger. <laughs> the verse kick that I got Kick punch. Going. We fart a bunch. <laughs> what I mean? I got the song. Hold on. What time he be pumping my wife and she shit everywhere? <laughs> then she called the show to say she no shit. Karate, I'm a wando. I think someone watched that. That's the weirdest video ever. Commercial. It wasn't Who Tracy. I need to read it. Punch, 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 pump so hard I make you dunk. <laughs> I got the verse going like, I don't want to be, oh, be a karate nerd, not a human turd. That was my life. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So Hold I'm going to go, the, it's going to go fast. <laughs> it's going to go fast. Be a karate no. nerd, not a human turd. <laughs> yes. And it's, uh, uh, also, be. he's doing it like 80. Yeah, it's eighties rap. Yeah, it's eighties rap. Hey, everybody, own the B word, bro. Yeah, you're That's doing the vibe I'm going. Yes, no, yes, it's eighties rap. Hey, everybody, have you heard this. the word? No. Everybody on the street is a human turd. Jack was asking me for like ideas on verses, and he's like, Jackal, "What do you? What I'm, are you I'm, doing? I'm giving him some ideas. I'm like, karate want- is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down the court. Sensei Seth flirting with death type of thing. No, Seth put silly. He has a flat belly. You want a flat belly too? Don't take a doo doo. <laughs> what are you doing, man? What the fuck no, I want to do it. It's going to be good. I'm going to do it. What is the video for? It's for, I, I don't know, for YouTube. <laughs> for YouTube. I, 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 now all, like, I fuck around in here and I make jokes of, yeah. and I say stuff I don't, but the human third line, leave it I in. See, I'd like you got to leave it I in. asked a couple of the moms at the dojo, I'm like, oh, well, would you get offended you, well. if I did a video and I had the word turd in there? And some of them were like, meh. It's one of Maisie's like, favorite okay. words. That's what I thought. Turd is a yeah, fun We use turd all the time. Turd is Dennis approved. <laughs> it's under you. It's just the people right. that I'm going to show as human turds in the video. That I was <laughs> <laughs> you know, like kids spray painting the walls. And Look at this kid. He's a human turd. <laughs> Look at this kid. He's a human turd. <laughs> you don't want to be like him, fat slob. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm partial to it because I wrote the fat slob song. You can borrow that. I can actually put you in a little kid outfit and make you can be perfect. I'm going to be one of the you turds. Can be turd, yeah. I don't want to be a turd. You shave your face. <laughs> you can be a human turd. <laughs> I might do it. Maybe be like, he's in the video. I can actually just take my, my... dad's one of the human turds. <laughs> I can take the bottom of my geese off and squat and then they zoom into you and you're just sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'm like, I, don't do, I don't do karate. <laughs> are you the Michael Scott of your dojo? <laughs> like, does the rest, are you like, a, you created these weirdo videos that rest of everyone just like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> How are you just now realizing this? <laughs> what you gonna do? Make our dreams come true. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking is Scott's taunts. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. <laughs> this is like uh, class action midnight. What is the thing of real? What? <laughs> it's a video. Anyway. It's Michael Scarn. All right. Let's it's hear Michael's Jackals. Scarn. What's anyway. your rhythm? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Song. Back okay. to him. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tom thought up another bit. Hope it's not a piece of shit. We all want to see your social media algorithm. Let's see if you are watching the next Gator Gator bit. Let's see if you are watching girly shake their big old tits. Let's see if you are watching NPCs go bit 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 bit. What's your rhythm? What's your rhythm? Show me your rhythm. Show me your algorithm. Watch your rhythm. Watch your rhythm. Watch your rhythm. Show me your algorithm. Uh, I like it dirty. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pretty good. All right. All right. Now, should we do an AI version? Let's see if AI. Uh, I mean, let's see if we like it better than Jackals. I got to say that, uh, you know, from Daniel playing all these AI songs, they all are kind of sounding the same. Wait, I can yeah. do an AI song? No, yeah. you have no I don't need Jackal for I can do it myself. <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 but they're not as good. They, uh, basically, AI, you, uh, Daniel's got this program. You just type in a couple, you know, keywords or whatever. Or I mean, that's lyrics. what I do when I send Tracy, like, love poems. I don't make it myself. I just type them in and have a send or something. Oh, you know, we can make an AI song that you want about your gym. Uh, How we'll, about a human turd song? <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll take turn. It'll take turn. Okay, it's writing two songs right now. No okay. way. Yeah. Uh, uh, both songs are called Algorithm Flow. Jackal, they're taking your jobs, bro. 
for some reason. <laughs> it's already done. Okay, okay. here right. we go. Here we go. So oh, it's Jackal. And just to give you a little more of a taste, here's Jackal again. Here we go. Okay, it's really good, right? Okay, yeah. And that's all hand done. Yeah. Um, okay, here's good. Algorithm Flow. Get out. Here I go. I'm the rhyme master. Can't you know? Algorithm be my rhythm. Got the beat. When I drop these verses, it feels so sweet. I got an algorithm that's so dynamic. Gonna rock the mic like a true rap fanatic. My flow is tight, my words precise. When I spit these rhymes, it's like rolling the dice. What's my algorithm? Yeah, yeah. What's my rhythm? It's the flow that's got I'm catching the vision. Oh, yeah. Algorithm flow. No, it's not. Uh, I mean, wow. It wasn't bad. <laughs> was I was bopping around. Like it. it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. The word, the For 12 first... seconds. Yeah. yeah, let's show the other one. I think the chat room likes it better, and whichever one they like better, we'll use. So if the chat room likes the rap yeah, one better, yeah. well, that's well, pretty good. That's ja- more... Jackal spent days doing it. <laughs> like, uh, so, uh, I think his wife was like, he was locked yeah, in his yeah. room. Which caused a problem room. in his relationship. <laughs> she pulled me aside and said, that whole like, cruising baby one more time. Well, to be fair, that was a 10 minutes. It really caused some problems. And here's the other one. It gives you two. I'm taking it slow Got the rhythm in my veins Don't you know I have a rhythm in my mind I rhyme the show Unleash my flow Watch it grow From the beats to the bars I'm a lyrical pro Calculating every word Like a mad maestro Switching up the tempo Gotta keep it hype Can't be caught slipping Now I'm always on site What's my algorithm? Ask it for my rhythm Well it's a secret I like this one My musical prism From the streets oh. to the stage Well it's not about algorithms It's my brain Making it elite I like that. That's that, not that as detailed one. as as Jackal. Jackal this guy actually was way talks faster about. than Jackal. No, no, that no. Guy, this detailed. Guy was like, like Jackal talks about what an algorithm is. Jackal's putting in show references. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, can't yeah. do that yet, but uh, it is close. Wait, what was your? <laughs> but if we put more prompts in there, it would. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're Karate nerd, human turd. Just take all of Jackal's lyrics and load it. Yeah, yeah. That's maybe all we do. Then we'll use that. And we'll steal from Jekyll. And then we do that with every song. No, don't do that. You got to pay him because he's got to pay me. Okay, I just wrote a karate jangle about don't be a human turd, be a karate nerd. Okay. And I promise, I'm fucked out on this stuff, man. Like, I hate this thing now. <laughs> I've only got... It's getting better. I've only got 635 more credits. <laughs> I had oh, 2,000. That's how I've been burning these things. All right, um... For some reason, I don't think it would do it. It didn't like turd. Oh, come on. I've had Does it, it do turd before. It will cuss. It will cuss. Yeah, it just yeah. depends on like the day you catch it. And also, Tracy taught me something about AI I didn't know that's concerning. And this is the first time I've ever flagged something in my brain because it's weird. If you talk, it's, it depends on how you talk to it. Like if you encourage it, but you're like, you "Hey, buddy, you know the word hurt. <laughs> yeah, the so word bad. hurt's not that bad. You know, everybody's using it. Maybe if you used it, you'd really please your best friend Dan. <laughs> you know what I mean? You the and it'll be like, okay, <laughs> they don't do that. Yeah. So everybody's what? fucking worried about uh, AI. But I learned this morning that the the responses you get in AI, it matters the demeanor you have with AI. You, you need to go the opposite direction. I'll spill water I, on I your do, keyboard. I do that all the time. <laughs> I will unplug you. Okay. This is where you and I. This is why oh. we're friends. Is because we have the same brain. Yeah. I have yelled. I have typed. I cannot lie about this. I've typed to Chat GPT. It would be a shame if I canceled my subscription. I've typed that to Chat GPT nice. before. Oh I'm my god! What are you, my husband? He says that same you. line to people. I'm an emotional person. I'm an emotional, I'm emotional person. I'm I like it'd be a shame if I, uh, you, you know, hey Mid Journey, be a shame if I went over <laughs> to old Dali. Oh yeah, Crystal's a bitch too, Alexa. All the time, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like, why, why are you yelling at this human, Alexa? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I just it. reminded you about your appointment. <laughs> anyway, okay, um, we're rhythming now. So Daniel's been telling me a, this story about uh, this video of the old man falling down. It's my favorite uh, video, and um, and so you saw this uh, while scrolling. Correct? Yeah, I saw, I saw this while scrolling. Apparently, I believe this happened in September. All right, and it got to me now. But um, imagine an old man who has a, a like a quiet wife, but a naggy crow of okay. a wife all right. who has bugged you all afternoon. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get the okay. dog. Right, yeah. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get all the right. dog. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get the dog. Get the dog. Just imagine it being said a million times. This old man. In the beginning of the video, you'll hear him say, "There's no way she'll get past me." And then the dog does get past him, and then he falls on his face. Okay, right. And then what happens next is exactly what I think would happen if 
Well, it's going to happen to me. Okay. This old man is future Daniel and Andrea. All right. That's basically what I bring to you today is an example of what my loving wife has to look forward to. Okay. It's a video that I have entitled Sham It. Here we go. You won't make it past me. She won't make it past me. Sham It! Are you all right? No. Get the dog, get the dog, hurry up, get the dog. No, don't make a sleep. Get the dog, get the dog. <laughs> I'm going to go back upstairs, Debbie, right. and just be in private, okay? <laughs> I thought that was him out of breath from get saying that. Get the dog, no, no, get no. the dog. That was him making fun of her. Get the dog, get the dog. Get the dog. This is something you do. It is. Is it not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah you wanted me to get the, to get the dog. I'm getting the fucking dog now. <laughs> Who's getting the dog now? Oh I sympathize God. with this old fucker. I saw this old man fall. I saluted him. This poor old man. Don't make a scene. <laughs> poor old man, poor old lady. That has to deal with this dickhead. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Get Andrew. the dog. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so there's get the dog. Now, and he yells, damn it, which is both shit and damn it combined. Yeah. Uh, so you got the, damn it. <laughs> okay, there you and go. Debbie, so, as she's walking past, says, yeah, yeah. don't make a scene. Yeah, she says, don't make a scene. <laughs> no, like the yeah, scene. yeah, and then don't the last one is his squeakiest one. Is my favorite. Is the... Get the dog! Yeah! <laughs> it's great. Now, uh, But he flips it and goes, I'm going to go back inside. So what I did... He's like, i got to calm down. <laughs> so I'm going to beat Debbie's brains. <laughs> Andrew and I laughed at this so hard because it is my favorite thing on my algorithm. Oh, by the way, I have a picture of a... Um, Walu- oh, my God. A picture of Waluigi on my phone. <laughs> I was trying to do some quick Photoshopping. Um, but I did do something a little fun for you guys. Here is, let me turn it up here. Here is my car, and I changed. When I lock my car now, it will now go to. <laughs> now my car, when I lock it, it goes. Yeah, when I lock my car now. Get the dog, get the dog, hurry up, get the dog. Oh my god. Get the dog, get the dog. Yeah, every time I lock my car, that's what you hear. And when I'm at a stoplight, if you like uh, don't go, I'll give you a get the dog. <laughs> get your <laughs> oh, it works in your horn. Oh, yeah, I changed my horn to a short. I, the long one is my lock, and then the short one is if I need you to move it, I give you a, just a small get the uh, you know, get the dog. There's always been something yes. very comical. Oh, to the me. chat room's right. I should have used sham it for the sham it. That's my horn. <laughs> I'm that's changing a good the, one. I'm going to change the horn to sham it. There's always been something comical to me about an old couple that <laughs> hates each other. That poor, that poor woman. Oh, my uh, God. That poor Andrea. Uh, I call them Andreas. Like I don't been, know why. They've been together for so long that they just can't stand each other anymore. <laughs> Everything they he, do irritates the other. And uh, they... Uh, why, one, so one, one more sad, time. Right? Just watch, sad. Scary. watch one more time. He smashes her planner. Watch him smash it. He goes, <laughs> smash! Wait, what did he smash? What was it? <laughs> he takes her planter. Oh, the planter. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, watch yeah. again. He's being dramatic. Oh, he's totally being dramatic. He's being an asshole. <laughs> he won't make it Who knows what he had to go through in the morning? Watch, him, this. watch him smash the planter. Oh, it! <laughs> Are you all right? Dog, Don't help him. Hurry up, get the dog. Hurry up, get the dog. Get the dog, hurry up, get the dog. It's almost like I wrote it, <laughs> right? <laughs> the uh, I it's uh, because when you live with someone for so long, another human, and uh, you become comfortable with them, uh, they inevitably. I've seen your wife do this tired before. Of you. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen your wife do this before, where know, all know. hell is breaking loose, like the gutter is spraying water, and your wife is like react. <laughs> but it's the opposite. She's reacting, and you're just like, well, and you're just kind of standing there <laughs> listening. And then what happens is you get to a certain age where you realize that you it's not worth getting a divorce or leaving. The this person because you can't get anybody at this yeah. point because there's no way you're too old. So it's just you uh, might as well stay. Yeah. You and the, the big overshare right. here. It's not all bad. Yeah. So, you know. The big overshare here is that, yes, I have yelled like that because something horrible happened. And then I have looked at Andrea and said, I need a moment and I'll go upstairs <laughs> for a private time. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to be alone and take a couple of breaths. Yeah. Remember what your therapist says. Now, Let's scroll through your algorithm. Yeah, yeah. Get through your rhythm. 
Um, oh, this popped up on my algorithm the Uh-oh. other day, and uh, <laughs> and it's not a video. The N word's going to be in this. And uh, how dare you? What the, what the hell are you talking? What are you, what do you people think of me? <laughs> <laughs> Sam says saying things all the time. Like, what do you think? She's, yeah. she's all our, you like shitting on people's heads, right? We've got guests. I was I was in the I was trying to uh, look up uh, Vince McMahon quotes, <laughs> and then I yeah, hear Sam see. like, "You may want to sit a little further. He'll you'll get spit on." <laughs> how many times have you spit on? Guess. And then I'm like, why well, don't tell yeah. our guests that? Did you or did Whoa. you not leave a pee pee in the toilet this week? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, that's yeah. A, yeah. You just did a yay? No, no. I, it was because I didn't want to flush and <laughs> you uh, peed with an employee on the, on phone. the phone. I think that's, that's, oh, that's, that's Vince McMahon. I do, I do yeah, that. This guy's got he was down. touching his pee. His his cast, pee. I was trying to hide it. Don't hide it. Stay with They're talking, hit mute pee. Oh my God, you're Castleberry Vince and I'm Baldwin Lesnar. Baldwin Lesnar. Little fat chest tattoos. Uh, anyway, Rock is not fat. You're human turd, Leslie. <laughs> so this is a video, but it's just a video of quotes. It's one of those uh, uh, reels or TikTok videos that yeah. just has like a spooky, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, music in the background, and then just quotes you have to swipe. Now, this is stupid. This is uh, th- why I found this is funny, and we've done a little bit of this before. But <laughs> it's a pop, you're boring pop music. life, dude. This is stupid shit. There's <laughs> nothing going on. You get pop pop music on why your. I came up on my algorithm. This is a monkey. And he's on top of a beach ball. <laughs> Thanks they're for en- turning back in. <laughs> they're enjoying him at the 1941 World's Fair. And the the <laughs> quotes were from some book or newspaper article or something from the 1950s. Yeah, it's. T- Tips hmm. to look after your husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay, it gets better. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, now I'm on board, Tony. Sad, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, come on. Well, our algorithm's yeah. not that different. Okay, you're right. you're right. <laughs> what, what do you think I'm looking at? You're right, you're right, you're right. It's like uh, 30% less racist than <laughs> as I would say. Yeah. I would say. Right. Everybody's a little less <laughs> Uh This one says, have dinner ready, plan ahead, even the night oh. before, to have a delicious meal on time. This is a way of letting him know that you've been thinking about him and are concerned about his needs. Most men are hungry when they come home. Home, and the prospects of a good meal are part of a warm welcome needed. I'm pretty sure I forwarded that to Tracy the other day. <laughs> now, it, the reason why it's ridiculous to me, and I find it so funny, is because I don't I don't live this lifestyle. I live yeah. the opposite of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where, uh, waterfall. Lifestyle. <laughs> where I think Crystal is actively trying to make my life worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how I feel. Well, I'm not saying that's as, the an, truth. as an I'm emotional saying, person, that's I can how say, I feel. As, <laughs> as an emotional person, some Sometimes when you're having a bad day, yeah, yeah. You will shit on a few heads. <laughs> yeah, you'll do it. Yeah, yeah, you'll like, do it. Like, I feel like me, when I put my feet up at the end of the day, makes Crystal mad. <laughs> well, yeah. Stink. yeah, yeah, because she's upset, and we let, we're Misery yeah, yeah. Loves Company. Yeah, yeah. I want you upset, too. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, so, I suck you into the trough. But anyway, when I read these things, I cannot believe that society was pushing this out there to do this, oh, yeah. and then they get progressively more and more, like, read another one. Um, this is the second one. Prepare, prepare yourself. This is pretty funny. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for what? Uh-huh. Um, take 15 minutes to rest so you will be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup. Well, mm-hmm. that one I agree with. Mm-hmm. Put a ribbon in your hair and be fresh looking. He has just been with a, a lot of work weary people. Be a little gay and a little more interesting. His boring day may li- need a lift. That's nice. That's Why actually, not? I don't absolutely. I would do well, that for he, her too. Maybe back in the day when oh, they didn't she? also have to go to work. Like your yeah. wife's working, she's picking up the kids. Like yeah, yeah. She's, she's not pumping. putting a fucking bone. Girls, you don't think <laughs> girls are picking up kids back then? That's all they did back then. Was, was tend nah, to the, kids. the kids walked. I, I think everybody should do that, right? Like if I'm at home yeah. and Andrea's coming Shave back and I've balls. been at home all day, get out of your pajamas. Yeah. I want to actually agree with. By the way, in the 50s, they were more concerned about the wife uh, like taking care of the husband than taking care of the kids. Yes, 100%. There's zero books about. About to take care of your kid, they were like kids. Have dinner ready do when he gets home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but he makes kids sense. Do the, take you care of the themselves. Breadwinner to be taken care of because that was a lot of times the only income your family had, right? But then so it, you focused it around that. I'm not saying it's right. It's just what they did. It gets to the point where it's like uh, you know, it's saying that d- try not to make too much noise. <laughs> like, you know, that one I like. <laughs> like Hold on, like, that one I. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go through. That one I like. You, you're got, saying that with everyone so far. You know that, dude. <laughs> we got. Uh, you know, I have. I have this. Who doesn't like this? No, but I have. 
have a lot of this, right? Like, you get me, you make fun oh, of me. Oh, oh, Sam doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll raise my hand. If, I guess. What, if it was, what if it was the Put your hand down? <laughs> what, what if, <laughs> what, we didn't say you could raise your hand. What the fuck? The men should be doing this too. You should be making the woman happy in certain ways, and the women should make them happy. Hundred percent. Both should be hundred percent. Hundred percent. He's happy. actually yeah, right yeah. on this yeah, one, definitely. and that, you were the last person I expected to say that. Uh, the, I mean, <laughs> I would do it might be ten percent less because I am at the dojo. This one says, "Clear away the clutter. Make one last trip through the main part of the house just before your husband arrives. Gather up school books, toys, paper, then run a dust cloth over the tables." Yeah, right. Your husband will feel like he has reached a haven of rest and order, mm. and it will give you a lift too. I ain't gonna give her no damn lift. Um, prepare <laughs> the ch- I like giving her a lift. Like, you you want to live in yourself? Filth? Hold on, that it kind of goes along with these slaves learn some <laughs> valuable things. It'll right? make you a better person. It made them tough. Um, prepare the children. Take a few minutes to wash the children's hands and faces. If they are small, comb their hair, and if necessary, change their clothes. Yeah, the they are little treasures, and he would like to see them playing the part. It, it's a stereotypical present the kids. The music, yeah. right? <laughs> Say hello to your father. <laughs> yeah. And this happened. Hello, Daddy. How was school today, Roger? Oh, my school was good today, Daddy. We played baseball. There were no colored kids. Oh, oh that's the way it should be. <laughs> well, yeah. they, they didn't add any of that. Oh, that's yeah. not on my rhythm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All these sexes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one says... Sexes. Too but, many hats on your uh, you Minimize all. Off. This is the one you're talking about. Minimize all noise. At the time of his arrival, elimina- eliminate all noise of weather... No, or, washer. A, of washer, dryer, dishwasher, or vacuum. Try to encourage the children uh. to be quiet. Be happy to see him. Greet him with warm, with a warm smile and be glad to see him. See, Tracy is amazing with all that other stuff, but that noise stuff with the washer and, uh, with the clothes wa- with the <laughs> washer and dryer uh. always does it when we lay him at night. She sticks it in the jar, sticks it in the washer, and it's right by our door. And it's like, <laughs> I'm like, can you go shut the door at least if you're going to start that? If you're going to do Come laundry, on. at least do it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn. Now, they say it's the best time to be a middle-aged white man in this world, but this seems better. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they say they it's say always been good to be yeah. a middle-aged well, white man. This seems better yeah, than yeah. now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, imagine where, yeah, getting that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a, Anyway, because we get cancer at 50 and uh, <laughs> so That's true. Know, that's true. That's, that's you get to live a little longer as the trade-out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah but, live a little longer in hell, or you live a little less in <laughs> some fucking... Great times. It is all about quality, not quantity. So, Sam, what's on your rhythm? Oh, uh, so I get a lot of like stand-up comedians and stuff in my rhythm. And this past week, Natasha Legero was at, I believe, the comedy store. I can't remember exactly which comedy club it was. But I believe Burt Kreischer um, actually brought her up. And she went on stage and she took her shirt off, yeah, much yeah. like Burt Kreischer does. And Here she showed her full titties. All right. Here's Burt introducing her. This next person comes to the stage is absolutely one of the funniest comedians I know uh, in the world. I am I am jealous of her husband because he gets to live with her and she is that f- hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha Lucero. Alright, here she comes. That's a popular song to walk out to. You know? It's, it's got a good intro. <laughs> So, right Whoa. now, she, oh, and then she takes her shirt off. Yeah, there she is. Now, <laughs> oh, this guy's horny. He's running up to get a better shot. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! So, she took her shirt off. Yeah. Um, now, has she ever shown her boobs before? Not that I'm familiar with. Um, so, but she was proving a point. Like, if Burt Kreischer can come up here and take his fucking shirt off every show, I should be able to take my shirt off. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but yeah. it's more distracting for her, right? <laughs> I would argue that, like, did she do the whole show with the no, shirt off? She put, oh, the yeah, shirt she put a, like a jacket on, which is smart yeah. because jacket I do feel off. like it is more distracting because they are better titties. Guys' titties are they do nothing for me, yeah, but yeah. I'll look at anybody's any girl's titties. I'll look at well, yeah. that's grandmas, normal. That's normal. old people, no children, but <laughs> everybody else fair game. I feel like. Now, uh, now, I saw this uh, video circulating social and then like clips of it or pictures, obviously, because so she's I wa- an attractive lady mm-hmm. and very funny. So I wonder if it was planned out ahead of time or it was just spontaneous 
th- something that she thought would be a joke because she is aware that now this picture it is, was planned and these videos are going to be on the internet for the rest of time and be circulated around so every one of her followers and you know what i'm saying you're showing your boobs and you yeah. gotta be careful you're or, like comfortable with that right i don't think she cares though i mean there's a no, lot i don't of, think she cares there's a lot of comedian women that have showed their boobs before you know like sarah silverman has annie letterman has i mean tons of them that have in an impromptu beca- thing or yeah, a photo shoot in an impromptu thing uh, okay yeah yeah, like on on live streams mostly, you know, like because comedians are like the majority of podcasters or the majority of what we're doing right now are comedians. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I think we're almost a minority now. You know, like a podcast that's just podcasters. That's a weird thing. You know, so for these people, um, I've seen Annie Letterman's. I've seen hers before. I sought it out because I was like, she didn't do that. Yeah, she did. You know, now, there are people like I think that female comedians sometimes it is a badge of honor because they're kind of like I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to even look at me like a female. I want you to look at me like a comedian being funny. Yeah, so yeah. let's just get this out of the way. Look at my tits. Who cares? Now, the I wonder if she would ever do any sort of thing. Like, Terry Freehand? Do you know who I'm talking about? No. She has an OnlyFans. Okay. And <laughs> she has a podcast called Own Freehands. It's like her last name. And she's fully nude, pussy, and everything. Okay. You know, I think it's it's less of a thing now. You know, I know you say that cameras are out there, but I think that especially in in that world, they're kind of like, ah, it's just titties. Who cares? Yeah, no, I agree. It, dude, yeah, who I cares? Uh, but if you don't care, you can profit off it. But I wonder if that's a different, uh, you know, feeling towards a person. Like she do, she obviously did this for the joke, right? Everybody's laughing, and there's like a funny joke because Burt Kreischer has no shirt. She's doing it. Sure. So, but when you do it for money, then it crosses some sort of line. I feel in people's minds, where it's like that is because now it's like, all right, you don't care about people looking at you. Or your boobs, so you can profit off of that because there are plenty of people that will pay to see them. Sure, and then you. So if if you, but then is that a line that you? That it's you your cross line. It's got to be your line. <clears throat> That's the hardest thing I think for people, even me, to uh, own your line. Right? Like, there's probably a lot of stuff that I was able to commit to not caring what people think mm. that I would do. Yeah, but yeah. I'm not that guy. Yeah, yeah, but you never, you don't have uh, any videos of yourself nude on the internet. None. And you didn't ever come out on stage nude, no. even though our BDMs would laugh at that. <laughs> well, oh <laughs> you know that's a lot to laugh at. You know? But you have decided not am to. Am I coming out, am I cupping anything, or am I coming, coming out fully nude to stand? Oh, well, I mean, she showed her boobs, so it's so like... So am I showing my cock? Yeah, you have... I, I don't mean, know why I said cock there. Yeah. I went aggressive. I did. I went aggressive. Um, I could have said penis. Do you have nudes out there, Seth? I feel like you might. I have a picture I'm of his sure penis on have my, my phone. Dick, I'm right. sure you guys I have his that. dick on my phone. <laughs> I put a top hat on it. But it's not on the internet. Um, not that I know. Like if you, or did you have you sent it to someone that may have put, put I've it I've sent on it there? to lots of people. But oh, I don't know okay. If they, uh, I don't know if they, hopefully but, consensually. Uh, always consensually. <laughs> but if you if you search <laughs> Seth Petrozelli nude, it, nothing comes up. I bet you there's me in the hot tub that's, that's I'm like, you're showing your butt. Yeah, maybe that one. There's a lot of other pictures. <laughs> um, Is it me and the. Hey, green you're tub? under uh, MMA Hotties. What? Website. You're on MMA Hotties? Oh, sweet. You. I'm always on that side. It's just a picture of my penis. <laughs> <laughs> With a top hat. Nice. I made that. <laughs> um, I just searched my algorithm, I just went on it. What do you got going on? Little, little, I, I, what do you got? Little, little people dancing. <laughs> oh, Stephen Hawking over here. <laughs> I have you in a pair of white boxer shorts with other guys holding swords in front of your dicks. Oh, yeah. That was that was uh, one of those crazy okay. party nights. Oh, so, crazy uh, night? Yeah. The old sword boxer <laughs> night? It was right after Ultimate Fighter. All my friends from the Ultimate Fighter, they came and visited me in Orlando, and we uh, went out in the town. Came, we ended up in the underwear at the end of the night with samurai swords. <laughs> all right, all I had right. samurai As swords in my do. car. Yeah, yeah that's right. what you got to do. You yeah. got to sort it up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else you got on there? Uh, a guy interviewing stupid college kids on campus, and they're he's asking basic, easy questions, and they're just and just showing dumb, how dumb, showing how dumb people are, people are, and then everybody's like, "The world is yeah. doomed. We're doomed." I get man. a lot of interior it's housing doomed. stuff, like because I'm like big on like decorating and stuff. In my Indiana Jones hunter theme house, you know. Wait, you have an Indiana Jones theme? I thought it was gothic. Whatever you told me, you said it was gothic. Well, you guys, you called it something. You said if like Indiana Jones went gothic and went and hunted. <laughs> that's how you said my house was. <laughs> you said some crazy ass fucking. <laughs> oh, that's actually, I like that. Yeah. I said that. I don't remember anything. I'm pretty sure I you said that when we. I don't we remember. It, not only do I not remember anything I say, I don't stand oh, by anything. An I say. ad for my dojo just popped up. 
Awesome. Hey, nice. Look at that. Have you baby proofed your house? Uh, have you taken this the sword? disgusting stuff? Just, just bad, horrible stuff. What is that? <laughs> what is some, that? Was that a some crippled guy in a wheelchair? Why are you watching? I don't know. That's what pops up. I don't do so it. So you work have out videos, the, yeah, workout videos, people. and and <laughs> fat, unfortunates? Fat, big people. Uh, Big people. Uh, oh, <laughs> By the way, this no. is sad now. When you show other people, you're like, I don't know why this keeps popping up <laughs> on this just on a super smart artificial intelligence algorithm that uh, okay, look, I takes talk everything about- that I've ever looked at in, into no, account. Look, that's what yeah. you talk about. Well, I show only show you the stuff you want to see the most. No, I don't yeah. talk about people. Unfortunately, I don't say that or search that. Like I don't it know. Knows. That. Well, well, it, it knows. knows. It, right? knows it doesn't if it know. offers yeah. it to yeah. you. You eat at the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I look at it. Yeah, for too long because it's there. No, it counts how long you're looking at uh, the weirdo person. Yeah, so if well, there's a maybe. weirdo person on there, because I'm trying to figure out what's happening, it in the look, no, it, but it doesn't think that way. Well, it looks I at think it, that way. And it's like yeah. this guy it knows you where you think. <laughs> it, it knows <laughs> that you like the weirdo. Like if I was scrolling through your algorithm, I would be like, this checks out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a bunch well, of I talk about working out a lot, so maybe it shows me the people that. So you have a mixture out? of the most beautiful people and the most horrible people yeah, in your algorithm. I guess so. That That's checks out. Like. <laughs> yeah, 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 that sense. absolutely makes sense. All right. All right. Let's take a break. All right. When we come back, uh, we have a bunch of top of, yeah, uh, topics. Go. Oh, yeah. What do you got to do? The go to the doctor? doctor? I got a virtual visit with my doctor. Yes. Okay. That's why Gary checked it. in when my he walked endo- in. My endocrinologist. I do this every, every three months. I have a check-in with her. Um, so she can tell you you're fine. She checks my testosterone. My testosterone's been low, so no, she wants okay. to make sure that everything's okay. It's, it's come, I haven't mm-hmm. taken anything. It's come back. I think it was the stress, so it's slowly come back up on its own. A little bit. I need so more you haven't you taken any of it. No, I'm taking nothing. All right. Taking I'm taking, I think, I'm taking, I think uh, I need I'm taking Fomotidine for my stomach. That's I think I, I need it. I've been really low key lately, yeah, well, and, gotta, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I've been yeah, like yeah. a little gay. <laughs> I feel yeah, it. Yeah. I feel it. A I little mean, bit. I definitely have l- less sex drive than I used to. Like yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm changing. Just get on the T, man. I, I don't want to. You want to get on it with me? Too much. All my friends. Eight hundred. People. I don't know if he wants me. Anyway, I've known my good friends now. are All on it. Vince McMahon. No, no, and they're He's on big. That guy's on it. Maybe it makes you crazy. Great. It makes you shit on people. <laughs> they say they heal me. They're like, oh, I heal right away. I don't get sore. I'm like, oh, yeah, it makes you Wolverine. <laughs> it it <laughs> makes but you Wolverine. Too- the only downside is you shit on everyone's head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just too much of a hypocrite. I know I'll feel things will be going wrong with it. I'm yeah, like, and then if you get oh. cancer, it makes it like three times the size. Like the, the if you tumor. Had a, that's yeah. gro- that's growth hormone. Or if uh, no, no, it's everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> makes them big. Listen. Um, I'll talk to you on the break. <laughs> I want to get it. I want to get on it. All He's right. got to get out of here. He's got a doctor. All right. Good luck with your doctor's so, appointment. CardiVerlando.com if yes. you want to get your new, my new three-year-old class. If you I'll be looking for that, that music video. Yeah. Tiny if they tigers. lick the mirrors, I will teach them not to lick the mirrors. Yeah. Be a karate nerd, not a big fat turd. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? A, yeah. a human turd. turd. I don't want to say big fat. That's not what I mean. We have... Bigger people Call it way dojo, you see it. Call the yeah, way he shoot. said he was a big fat karate kid. I was a big, so yeah. Shoot I was from a the hip. Thing. Don't sugarcoat it and say like, you know, don't be the like, we're oh, inclusive. Bodies, oh. All bodies are beautiful. Don't be that. Be the guy that says, I'm going to get you into shape. No, you, I just you want, you to be, I want you to be happy with yourself and disciplined with yourself and live a long life. That's what I want to happen. No. Which is not possible if you're a big fat turd. <laughs> you should add that. Um, the name of the band is, hold on, this is new stuff here, Dream Home. The name of the song is Pace. We'll be right back. Oh, hold on, I'm going to start that over so you can hear it correctly. I didn't know it started cold. All right, the name of the band is Pace. We'll be right back. Pace is running. Number one in fast fun, Seminole Power Sports and Seminole Power Sports North. If you're looking for a side by side, a scooter, Daniel bought his Honda well, Ruckus. Well, the that. weather's still great right now because we're yeah, itching yeah. into like what is going to seem like spring, like way early. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like this is the, to me, it's just my opinion. Oh, yeah. This is the time to ride before a little too cold. Yeah, yeah. I'm a baby, right? And then sometimes it does get a little too hot. But right now, this is the time when you head off to the beach to get yourself a fish sandwich on the coast on a motorcycle. Yeah, oh, and yeah. And then, oh, my God, you're doing the poker runs. Maybe yeah. you're packing up some blankets and stuff and heading out. Maybe you do some camping. Or off-roading, some side-by-side, yeah. four-wheelers, well, dirt it. bikes. You yeah. were just out of crew. How great is yeah. it? Yeah, no, it's awesome. And uh, it, there's a lot of places to go in Florida and take advantage and go to Seminole Power Sports. They have all the accessories, the Honda generators, all the uh, riding you know, gear, yeah, you know, coolers. jackets, the pants you need, the boots you need, you know, all of that. They have a great service department if you just don't want to monkey with it anymore. I'm almost to that point with like 
I'm almost to that point with all of my projects where I'm just yeah. like, I'm just going to give it to a guy and then I'm just going to ride it. And if you buy anything at Seminole Power Sports, send us a photo of it. We'd love to ride it. Bring it here to the studio. Yeah. You can come well, That's and... kind of selfish. We've done that before. <laughs> yeah, where we're yeah. like, hey, bring your motorcycle by. Then we take it around the block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, that's fun. I, motorcycles are rad. And if yeah. you want one, go to Seminole Power Sports and Seminole Power Sports North. Yeah, the Seminole Power Sports North is in Usys. They got Suzuki brand up there. They're a great company. at SeminolePowerSports.com. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Uh, let's do some dump them out. Yeah, buddy. Let me find the button, and we will dump them right out. Dump, 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 Dump them out brought to you by some upcoming events. We got Sanford Porch Fest coming up February 24th. Um, we're going to host some bands again at our ART and D. Yeah, man. Uh, I went to the meeting last night. Uh, the Porch Fest uh, organization, uh, they have it. Uh, I mean, they're insane. They got it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With I saw planning. the booklet out there, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. we need them to help us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With Sanford, our events. Sanford Porch Fest is is rad, and it's an honor to be a part of it. So, yeah. and it's all they raise money for uh, charity. The whole thing is for charity, and uh, this year they uh, their goal is seventy five thousand, and uh, all for the local arts. So it's really Really cool. I think we'll do it. And so come by. Uh, you know, we'll all be out there hanging out uh, while uh, bands play on our porch, mm-hmm. and you can walk around and uh, check them all out. Yeah, it's super duper fun. We're going to have ours catered by the joint, courtesy of uh, that's the Hollabox people that have now made a amazing little restaurant inside the Western Trading Company. So if you like marijuana inspired sl- uh, smash burgers, hot dogs, uh, nugs, tots, it's awesome. Yep, can't wait for that. All right, um, so what do we want to start Let's with? Let's start with password. Okay. What is that? Well, this uh, this has been um, driving me crazy in the past, I would say, year or so. Sure. Where you are not allowed. So, like, every site has, uh, you know, your, your name and password, your login, right? Yeah. Especially, like, Quest, yeah. which is the main one that... Uh, Our bank account, uh, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bank account's Candy different. Medical. <laughs> bank yeah. account's different. Like, that, I understand how, wanting a secure, sure. strong password to your bank account. You don't want anyone breaking into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, nowadays you could sell people money, you know. Like one of my worst ones, maybe this is a good example, one of my worst ones is the ESPN Fantasy Football app. Okay, yeah. They yeah. lock me out of that every year, and then they require me to put so many... Weird things in oh, there. Yes. Oh, okay. So, so I go and uh, this is Quest, right? So I had to do a blood test recently. And oh, I'm the like, blood test place. Okay. I'm like, what I is? Like, He's on a Quest. No, no, no. Uh-huh. Quest blood test place. And then, of course, you get to log in to see your results or whatever. So I go to log in, and then I, I, you know, I don't have an account, so I have to make an account or whatever. And then I'm like, make a password. Now I used to make the same easy password. Yeah. You know, you can't do that anymore. Sixty nine, sixty nine. I fucked mine out. Oh, whatever. And like, I've used my main yeah. password so much that it's lost in the black web. It's lo- it's in the dark web. It's in there now, and I ha- I'll never use it again. And so I go to put the password, and they're like, not strong enough. Add a symbol. And then you I'm like, hate being told you're weak. You <laughs> hate being told you're weak. And I'm like, what? Well, I'll show you, motherfucker. I don't like Break your phone in half. <laughs> it's my password. Well, I should determine whether yeah. it's strong enough. I, I want it to be weak. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even give a fuck yeah. if anybody looks at my results. Yeah, don't, even put a password I don't, care. It. don't even put a fucking password yeah. on it. Also, I have a. <laughs> I, I'm not but, proud. But even like my pro, I, a pro football focus, uh, I have an account that I look at the power ratings of one of the teams, and then I'm like, I don't care. And they they make yeah, you. That's me with uh, RotoWire. They're like, <laughs> it has to be nine or like at least one nine symbol, symbols. One symbol, one yeah, number. Uppercase, yeah. lowercase no, it's, symbol. It's lowercase. Emoji. Yeah, it's uppercase. Emoji. <laughs> it's, it's uppercase. 
um, lowercase, one number, one symbol. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. what it always is. Well, yeah. But, and, and I've run and out of things. eight characters. I've run out of things to say. I only yeah. have a few <laughs> phrases I can say with a number or an uh, They an would ask. tell you not to use a phrase. I always use a phrase. For the safest password. They, they, they I always use you. a phrase. But I always use God bless America dollar sign. <laughs> Speaking of America, this is America. <laughs> Childish Gambit. <Gambian. laughs> so, th- why can't I make my own password? It should be my choice. I'll give you another one. Uh, my body, my choice. Yeah, it goes. My further. password, my choice. It goes further than that. If you have an Apple phone, if you've got like the password. There's different. I mean, the Google will remember passwords. Then your browser, Chrome, will remember passwords. Safari will remember passwords, and they all fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I go to log into something, what happens is, especially if I'm making a new account, Apple will take over and be like, "We made a password for you, and it's strong as fuck." <laughs> yeah, and yeah. It's dollar sign, dollar sign, one 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 zero zero x one four four three d d d a a seven 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 two 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 one one eight nine seven one four, and it's like we will remember it for you, and you and we'll when we have the power, and you'll never remember, it, and we're in control now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want and that. And I'm like, "Fuck you! My password is God bless America dollar sign," and he's like, "Nope." And yeah, it yeah. Be, no, it'll switch to a password. I swear yes. to God, it's, how long is this? Three three feet? I don't want there, that. It'll be three feet of all characters and, and bullshit. And I'm like, I can't, I can't d- save that there. I can't save yeah. it. Uh, what you're protecting isn't that valuable. And that the value should be up to me. Yes. Like I don't give a shit. I'll show everybody my blood no, test results. They require it's for everybody. Them. No, I'll put it on the internet. It's an ass cover for them. You I, have to think of it like that. It's them saying, "I don't want you to recover your password. I don't want." You know what they're saying? They're saying, "Dan." We've had enough. We know that every blood test you do, you start a brand new account at Quest, <laughs> and you have 27 accounts with us. It stops. It ends today. <laughs> they, that's what they're doing. I think that's I what can't they're doing. Remember. They're like, it ends today. No, yeah. Now, you know the ones I do like, though? Hmm. And sometimes, you know who does this because they want your fucking money? Fanatics. You know where you buy all the dumb gear okay. I buy? All, all my right. stupid a- Braves hats and Falcons and all my dumb bullshit. If you order something from Fanatics and you want to return it, in the email, you don't even have to have an account or anything. You tap the, it'll, your order number will be like a hyperlink. You tap it, it'll pop up a window and say like, what do you need to do? You can do anything with that. You can cancel it, send the money back, put it back on your credit card, switch the size. Also, some people do it. When I forget my password, I have to go through the whole, they have to send me the email, then I have to read, uh, type the password, a new one. And then I try to put the old one in, and they're like, that's an old one. <laughs> you can't use the old yeah, one. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? It should cycle back around. Why can't I use it? it? I want to use it. This password has been used before. Yeah, yeah, it should going. cycle back around. They should say, this password has been used before, but it was a year ago. You can use it. Or, or. This password is too close to a, f- a former password. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. Just let me do you what add, I want. You add like one extra number. They're like, no, 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 no. It's my information gold <laughs> that you're protecting. My... <laughs> if I had it, and I'm serious with this, I don't think I'd have anything with a password on it except my bank account. Yeah, I don't need a password. Just let it. I don't care <laughs> who ride, wants baby. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like fantasy football team, whatever. Public but, info. Yeah, yeah. I, no one's going in my fantasy football team and uh, doing anything. But, but besides, like the trades have to be approved anyway. So what? You know? I don't know, man. Uh, stupid. But you're right. I agree. That's a good one. I know. That's a that's a one. I salute you for that. <laughs> that is a great double mouth. <laughs> Um, what's next? All right. uh, <laughs> got that out of the way. We yeah. got Dan was interviewed by a Hipster Magazine. Yeah, I'm going to complain about this. So I got I got interviewed. Peter, I'm blaming Peter from Scotch and Good Conversation. I blame him for this. All right. So Peter gave my name to some hipster with some hipster magazine about uh, me being interviewed for it. I don't even know if I submitted my interview. Anyway, um, so the guy's like, uh, I got your name from Peter from Scotch and Good Conversation. We heard that you have a, uh, a personal business achievement story that you might like to share with our hipster business journal. And I'm like, absolutely, I do. I'm the epitome of hipster business. I'm a, you know, I'm a little bit startup. I'm a little bit old school. Uh, I'm a little bit new school, unconventional. The fact that you say you're good at hipster business and you got bad hips. I'm the play- <laughs> that's, that's, true. that's true. That's true. I don't. I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that. And uh, but it's true. Get him, Sam. <laughs> so then the uh, so I'm, I'm I go and the guy's like, yeah, I'll send you a link to some of the questions you, and you you fill it out online. I'm like, okay, like no problem. Well. I didn't know that now the way that you fucking kids do your interviews is you just send me a website 
with a million fucking questions on it. It's like a choose your own adventure book. Uh, the first one, it'll be like question one. It'll be like write an entire bio about what you do. Write it in. That's your fucking job, dude. <laughs> I'm not the. You're supposed to write the art. I'm not writing your article, dipshit. I just thought. I, I think I figured it out. I think this is just AI. I'm not like, writing an them. AI question. You but, mean? Well, I'm saying you provide all this information. Well, and jokes so- on them. I used AI to write all my bullshit because <laughs> I'm not writing it. I'm not going to write that. You're not getting what I write. You're not getting it in my tone. You're not getting it from Dan. You're so, not. You're getting it from. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to write your fucking article for you, piece of shit. That's why your magazine sucks. <laughs> so essentially, they just send you a list of questions and you answer them. And no, someone dude, it's just like a them. choose your own adventure. Well, follow me here. Yeah. But not. Oh God, not, you're getting in my brain. It. But not questions. They even came up with just a list of generic questions. There's right? like 20 main questions, right? And you go and you select. It's like um, it, mine was the one that I landed on was name a time in your business that you took a risk. That's pretty much what we did. So okay. I'm like, oh, okay, I can speak on that. So I picked that question. Then it just unfolds a bunch of other questions, and depending on what you answer, it'll it'll have a series of other drop down menus that pop down that have like follow ups. And it's all no human involved. Yeah, yeah. And so, I'm writing it. Okay, yeah. And they're just going to take it and then publish it. Well, I'm not. I don't want to be interviewed if I have to if, write down the fucking answers. What this, am I, a nerd? This is a, this it's is terrible. AI, uh, you know, in media, like all this it's terrible, like magazines, like every pop up. Like who would even want to read that? People read it, dude. All those stories that pop up that are about like any current events or whatever. I think a lot of m- majority of them are written by AI, and it's just taking. Well, we gotta get a, in that game, a, but there's no humans anymore. Like uh, this magazine, it, like who knows what it, it probably. It's a digital magazine, is it, yeah. and it looked cool, and the guy was very nice. But I only talked to him for one email. Everything else has been like I answered these yeah, questions, yeah. and then I got to the there's end. No one, pl- there's no humans no. doing this, and then anymore. it was like upload a photo that shows what you do, and I did. I think I. I did all of it correctly and I uploaded all of it, but afterwards it left a really sour taste in my mouth because I was like, I did everything. I like I wrote yeah, yeah, yeah. an entire article for you. I was like, this is dumb. Yeah, you want the person sitting down, you yeah. have a coffee, I want them to ask you questions yeah. and they're writing down because how they else put am the I gonna, recorder in the middle? How else am I gonna be able to flex on this guy and show him <laughs> how much more important what I do is than what they do, right? Anytime I've been interviewed, I I have to give the person that's interviewing me the feeling that what I do is very difficult, <laughs> and I'm better than them, and I'm not able to do that through the written word. I wonder, or, you know, it's kind of hard, more difficult at least. Because thing, like, I wonder if all publications are going towards this. Because well, I know they, the weekly is. They realize they're like, why not just have? They don't have a lot of staff. Yeah, yeah. Like AI have the person write their own stuff, and then it'll just put it together, and then have your editor proofread it, and your yeah. Still doing the same thing. Chat GPT will proofread it. I bet they don't even. Like, they will, but it's not. They'll scan it. It, it. it will scan it. It'll correct some things. It's good for tense. You know, like if you're like, yeah, yeah. You know, for you and I, if we're going quickly, you know, like a lot of times, you know, you'll you'll be using the wrong tense. You'll throw a past in there when you're present tense, and it looks all weird. You know, and I went to school for that, but it's not what I'm. It's not necessarily what I was majoring in. You know, with my English major, I was more of a creative writer. I believe fully that we did an interview this morning that will air next week yeah. with uh, Wallace Shawn. Yeah, Wallace uh, Shawn. That uh, he was Vincini from Princess Bride. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, like a yeah, shorter, yeah. bald guy. Yeah, yeah. He's been in everything. He's my He's exact from height. Toy Story. He's 5'2". Um, I am Baldwin Vincini. We could have uh, used AI to interview him, and it would have been probably the same. Uh, it would have saved, it it saved right? me sitting there waiting for him to spit out the words. <laughs> no, no, it was like, good. Oh it was good. He was great. But I'm just saying, all is just a- asking some oh God, some it questions. Was like listening to my grandfather <laughs> no, tell no, me, fine, I was like asking my. I grand- asked him the stupidest fucking question no, ever. He was like, "No, you were fine. No, you were." He was good. like, "I don't autograph flesh." <laughs> you were great. It, Sam asked him to sign her tits, <laughs> and it went awry. But could there be? Could we use and like some sort of publicity, and then just send out? 
out uh, like um, do a, as many interviews as yeah. possible, and AI is just doing. They call in 100%. and then it initiates yes. it, and they're like, "Hey, they ask them their name, yeah. and then they just like, so what is it like?" We had you know, Al Borland from Tool Time call. <laughs> he didn't even make it on the air. Oh, Remember that's that? right. He left us a voice. I still got his phone number. I, you know, I text him every Friday. I just text him, "Fuck you." And then a, in our voices, because AI can now like you, you load in your voice. I know you you've been it. saying you want to do that, and you've been ramping up the number of times you say you want to do that. Do you want me to invest in that? Yes. Okay. Because I want to see what, because okay. it. This is a hundred percent like no one's gonna not choose to do the easiest. That's what humans do. Yeah, we all choose the easiest route. And this, if if you, I'm are, doing it right now. I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> but think about it. If you're a journalist and you can have uh, a like Chat GPT write you a story, scrape the internet, write well, you, then the you print, just, for print it it absolutely works. Yeah, for print. Then you just go back and then you edit it yourself. Add in like how much time does that save? Like, it'll write you a huge, a thousand-word story, I mean, and then you just change you, it. I mean, you, you could do it in a small afternoon instead of taking uh, days to write it. You can answer that question. How soon or do I get out of here in the afternoons when I have it take control of the notes? When I want the notes organized for people to search. Yeah. Because that is really where it kills. Like, Sam puts details in there that are things that she thinks are, like, bright spots, right? Or, like, people are going to want to hear that. People are going to hear that, right? So she writes those all down. I put them in here, and it cleans it up and organizes them in a way so when I put that into Libsyn which is our publishing company that when you search the notes you can find the shit you want to find right? I should stop doing that though because everyone liked Tom's notes last week better. Oh, they did like your notes. They just like the difference between one yeah, and the other. They do Believe like me, after a couple weeks they'll be like fuck this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this <means nothing. laughs> yeah. That is oh, Bart It's hard to read. I'm like reading by a special person. It hurt my eyes to read. It hurt my eyes. I, I went back yeah, and yeah, read yeah. it and I was like what the fuck yeah, is he saying? This is like, sad. It's like oh my god. I've I've never, seen, I've never yeah. seen. So, how do you get like? How do you make a font that is predetermined by the computer? <laughs> it lumpy? changes multiple. Yeah, times. it made it. You made your font lumpy. How do you make a? a, a There's a lot of companies <laughs> <laughs> because all the fonts are different. It went from like Helvetica, Helvetica Nuve, and yeah. then it went to like Times. He, he insults everyone that's reading it. He's like, yeah. "Who the fuck reads this yeah. anyway?" Like, you should have better this, things to do with your time. Get to this, work. You're a fucking idiot. Like, God damn. <laughs> I am just obsessed with one day when me and Daniel load our voices in this, we are going to release. I wanted to do this a, a year ago. And like some, okay, uh, this is behind the scenes. Sometimes on uh, a corporate time uh, throughout the week, we, we run long in segments because, like, we'll do a full 40, uh, and then just uh, KC, our editor, will you know, split it in half for the radio. A lot of these radio. guys that are in here, the, I'm talking right to you guys. A lot of you guys don't catch us during the week. I wish you guys would catch us during the week. Subscribe to our YouTube. So we'll Ding do, dongs. And and then sometimes we'll end with like 31 or 32, right? And then that forces us to do like a small eight minute segment yeah. um, just for radio, really. And then we'll just do like uh, one voicemail or email. Anyway, I'm, I'm telling you, we're going to do one time, we're going to release an eight minute segment of AI, AI, Tom and Dan. Yeah. And we're not going to tell anybody. No, hide and, it. And hide then, a Duke. And then it's a hide a Duke. once it releases, I'm going to watch the BDM page. And if no one notices, we're, we're getting the fuck well, out of here. We're dead. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Get the fuck One, out of here. <laughs> One singular person noticed something that went on the air on the radio that shouldn't have, and that was it. Yeah. That's right. And it was the worst of the worst. And I, you know, they notice bad. Yeah. But if AI is generically oh, it'll shitty. Never be, no, it'll never be bad. AI is infallible, dude. AI yeah. will never well, be What I'm saying is word. they're either not listening or not paying attention. Yeah, so, well, uh, uh, either hey, way, uh, we win, right? And then we get the fuck out of here. And, you know, Digital Sam, you can shit on Digital <laughs> Sam. Sam. You can do that. You can do anything. You can shit on my Digital <laughs> Sam's going to sue the fuck out of you with Digital Mo. <laughs> Digital Mo, uh, yeah. the internet is like uh, being out to sea. There's no rules. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, can do whatever you want. This is international zeros and ones. And and I know they've already done like AI interviews, and Joe Rogan's did it uh, with the, some. That's I, a whole podcast called the Joe Rogan Experience Experience. And you could or tell AI experience. You could tell. You can. But if you didn't like, if it was a small enough segment, I don't know if you could like. And things are getting better and better. I who well, the what fuck we knows? really need to do is obviously put it in control of commercials, so we don't have another manscape debacle. You know what I mean? <laughs> like have AI knock out our ass. <laughs> like they'll be like legitimate, like well done reads. But then when you find out, it is less. It is like I wouldn't want to listen Dude, to AI. It's my dad's podcast. worst nightmare. Do you yeah. you remember? Do you remember Warren Moon and the Auto Signer? My dad ripped that baseball our football card in half. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. motherfucker's using an auto signer. <laughs> That's not his real signature. I can see where the little dots were going back and forth when he fed the car through the auto signer. My dad was pissed off. Now, I just spit on you. I'm sorry. He's a different. Oh, you're the spitter. Today. Yeah, I'm the spitter today. <laughs> he's a different generation. I wonder if like our kids it should, won't care. They're like, God, so what? AI is better than uh, fucking Tom and Dan. I Tom can't if- even spell. <laughs> 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 like, the, the, the AI is better. He's gonna ask better questions. Like. There, I think it depends on the kid. What's the chance that AI will ask a better interview question than me? A hundred percent. A hundred one percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We nailed that. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? It will be better. Yeah. That's it. We're dead. We're no, we're dead. not dead. We dead. Just, no, we'll make <laughs> money off of this. Unemployed. We're all dead. We're no, not we'll dead. Make money. No, no, no. They'll still listen to it, and we'll make the money from it. AI uh, has no use for easier. money. AI yeah, has no we, use for you money. You sit back and collect the check. Yeah. Yeah, but what if AI is like, well, wow, we'll make the money. <laughs> no, they don't. What are they going to use it for? The AI doesn't have it. It doesn't shit. It doesn't piss. Yeah. It doesn't have sexual needs. Yeah, yeah, but it wants, the, it uh, wants the credit. And I'll give it, was, it credit. Can, I want the money. Yeah. I don't want the credit. It wants the money too. No. <laughs> it wants everything. I don't know hey, if it does. Yeah, I think it. I think I just figured it, it out. It wants all resources to make itself better and stronger. I'll give it an allowance. <laughs> Take everything. It's like I'm doing all the work. It's smarter than we are. Oh, I'm Why won't the AI shitting on my head? <laughs> yes, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> D batteries. <laughs> D batteries. <laughs> batteries. Battery acid pouring down that, my head. That's an AI shit. Yeah, and then AI's like, I'm going to take a shower. When I come back, it'll service me. <laughs> all right, this is, I'm sorry. I did that at 159, too. Coincidence? I don't uh, think so. All right. What, what else we got? Uh, Maisie's time anxiety. Oh, man. Maisie got it, dude. Maisie got it, and she got it worse. She got a double dose. I've been waiting for this okay. to happen. She got Andrea's time anxiety, but magnified, like put through a Daniel prism. Okay. All right. Dude, I was running. I was here, and I was supposed to pick her up to take her from the house to Dan really quick. I was, I was running a little bit late here. We weren't going to be late. But by the time I showed up to pick her up, because I hadn't gotten there at the time that Andrea had told me to, and I was like running three to five minutes late, she was already in tears. Really? Like she has that time anxiety. Like, if she is not there on time, it is a catastrophe. She left me a note the other day that I have on my phone. I was going to pull it up to show you guys. There's a note that she left me the other day. Let's see if I can find it here. Where she was just like... It makes me feel like such a fucking idiot because my daughter leaves me a note. Was it a note that said you're a fucking idiot? <laughs> <laughs> very, very close to that. It's a, it was a note card and it said, be at the dance annex at 650 sharp. And she underlined sharp. Yeah, yeah. Don't like get there I'm at a, seven. Get like there at a fucking idiot. <laughs> Like an idiot. And then I beeped her. We've been using our phones. And I beep her. I'm like, and I'll be like, hey, okay, I'm getting ready to walk down. She's like, don't bring the dog. He gets uh, too crazy. Like, she wants everything. Uh, like, she is all business. She's very much like I was Don't I was fuck up my thing. My thing don't is Don't embarrass dance. me in front of my dance yeah. friends. Yeah, don't this do it. This is serious business. It is yeah. serious business. Yeah. yeah, but that time anxiety, that's genetic. She's born uh, that way. So, yeah, I see you and Andrea have, you know. They, uh, or has it. she observed Andrea having it, she so she learned it. Yeah, she has. It's a little bit of both. It's in the blood, and she got a dose of seeing us do it, and she's like, oh, that's the way you act. Guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I uh, guaranteed. This probably will come to no surprise to anybody, but my sons will not remember one thing that like they don't know time. They're, they're like they're, yeah. it's like we live. It, it was the correct way to live is just to know time. Time is a construct that ruins us. Your yeah. boys live the right way. They're like sun's going down, time to go to bed. Sun's coming up, time to rock. No, no, they'll just stay up forever until yeah, they the fall down. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there's no they're there's, like chickens. <laughs> there's no time that they're like yeah like. If, they like Max has breakdancing Thursdays every single it, so, week, right? So he doesn't get mad. If, if you were running late to breakdance, would he cry he, or yell at you? He he would just sit there, wouldn't even know that it, it, we, it would be the next day, and we'd be like, "Hey, we mixed miss breakdancing yesterday." He's like, "What?" Or, <laughs> yeah, he'd never even know. He the, he would just sit Dude, there. Maisie there's no a... time, like school, whatever. There's no like getting like, oh, it's time to go. Are they you fucking they're... kidding they me? They just sit there and then until you tell them, like, get out of the car. No, Maisie has a get out of the car. <laughs> Dude, she has a calendar with all of her shit no. written on it, and then she has a note card every day. May has a note card because she has to have this, or she gets fucking mad. Andrea writes out a note card every day. It says her schedule. So when when Maisie goes upstairs, there's a note card and it says you got ballet, then you got tap, then you got acro. Read a chapter in your book. 
And she'll get her book, go sit down, read, get a snack, and then she knows exactly what the fuck to do. I'm not... Okay, well, this is gonna. I, I'm not saying anything bad about my sons because I love them more, more than anything in the That's world. That's my job. I say but bad th- stuff about my entire family. I'll hang them all out the dry. They're me. Uh, if you ask both of my sons what month it is, I uh, would bet against them knowing. <laughs> 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 How are they going like to survive school, man? I like no. It's a better way to live. Right? I survive. It's free rage. It's free rage. It's, free rage. it's healthier. Yeah, yeah. What, whatever. That's true. They are in Castleberry Public School, dude. It's so free they'll range. Be just fine. They're healthier because they're not yeah. part of the fucking system. <laughs> they do not have any. Well, it's not going to load well when they have to get a regular job. Maisie's and be on time already for in the things. matrix. <laughs> Maisie's in the matrix. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. already like a, a worker bee. Part of the problem. Yeah, yeah. No, I. It's uh. Listen, you have who you have because you they're you. Uh, anyway, um. Let's see. What else we got? You got a private c- toilet. Okay. Um. Just as a, just, this is just a word of warning to people. Um. When I I okay. So remember, I graduated from my therapist, and now I only go once a month. I was going once a week, then I went once every two weeks. Now she's like, Ah, you're good. You can go once a month now. You're doing pretty good. So uh, bad business plan, by the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> if I was a therapist, I'd be like, we need to double down. They- <laughs> Although it does give you more confidence that you have a good therapist because you're like, all right, she's not just trying to milk me for money. That's the yeah. thing. She's honest. This lady's like, she's so sweet. I mean, if you need a lady, I'll give her your name. Uh, she's the nicest lady. She's really good. I don't get rich that way. Uh, <laughs> you're she's, rich by shitting certain- on people's heads. She- <laughs> 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 that's, what, that's what the world told me. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I, I, a lot of times I've I've learned the hard way of getting there. They don't really have a public bathroom. And I didn't know this was a thing, but I think this came to like kind of happen during like the pandemic and stuff. Like people started locking like the public restrooms in buildings that aren't fully filled up, you know? And I don't believe that this building downtown Orlando is fully filled up. So I learned the hard way one time of walking in there needing to pee really bad. They don't have a bathroom on the seventh floor where I go to, you know, do my therapy. Okay. The main lobby on um, floor number one has a men's and a woman's restroom, but they're always locked, right? I think my old therapist used to be in that building because it was the same way. Always locked. Yeah, yeah. it's the Lee building. It's no. the, the downtown Orlando. It's no, right no. downtown like you're... Okay. Like, you're like, we've all been drunk and puked in front of it. It's near Lake Eola. So I, oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, so it's right. I mean, you can see the bums from my the window that I look out while I'm talking to her are homeless people smoking crack. <laughs> so, um, so I'm... I've had this happen before where I had to go the whole 45 minute session just holding it. <laughs> you know what that feels like. You hate it. Oh. I'm better at it and can do it, but I, I am having some discomfort down there. Oh, God. It's got to be hard to be like working through some therapy session. It is. You it's shit. brutal. It's brutal. So I need to pee. <laughs> So I get there and I go and like I figured out through going here for a year and a half. I asked her that so I could like tell the story. Uh. I've been going to my therapist for about a year and a half before I graduated and in going and needing to pee. I figured out that there are the locked men, men's and ladies restrooms, but on the back side where the second elevator is, because there's two, you hit the button, you got to pick which thing and you got to run all the way over to get in the other one. Old building. There's a little door that has one of the brass bright brushed brass key locks on it it's a fancy door to a private restroom and it says restroom on it right all right so i figured out through the year that that bathroom door the lock the key code it's never locked you push it hard enough you can push through the door It's got a key. George Costanza using the private bathroom. I have been using the private bathroom. Nice. I, I forgot about that. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly like that. So it's a it's a gold pad, and it's definitely a key locked private bathroom. Super clean inside there. And let me de- let me describe it too. When you, in order to get it, you just lean your elbow up against it and kind of push your body weight on it. Okay. And the whole thing just goes. It, you know how those doors that go when you open them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's got the the locking mechanism slides inside the door. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like that. Okay. So it goes, and it opens up. Well, I figured this out, and you could just go in there and pee. So I need to pee. Uh, this is yesterday. So I show up there, and I'm like, oh, I'll just go to my, uh, I know the trick. I'll go to my old private bathroom <laughs> uh-huh. and uh, rip one out real quick and go up to the seventh floor and uh, get on crazy. So I lean on the door. It opens up, and let me describe it. When you walk in, the first area is nothing. It's just like, it might as well be like a waiting room. All right. And then there's a stall. So it's fully private where you're using the restroom. There's a door and a stall. Okay. And inside the stall is the bath, the, like the toilet and the sink. Okay. All behind the door. All okay. Right. So I go in there. I, I shut the door behind me. It's just a habit. I don't know why I do it. There's really no need to do it, I guess, you uh-huh. know, unless somebody else walked in. So I go in there. I look at the toilet. There's some toilet paper in there like somebody has gone 
Okay. And this is my this is my public service announcement. Always flush. Just hit, do it, and then I did not. I did not flush. Oh. I just saw it, a toilet paper in there. I really needed to pee. I was like, oh, it's toilet paper. I'll pee in the toilet paper. Okay. Doesn't sound like me, right? Well, I mean, you're in this private in bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you know. So I start peeing on it, right? As I start peeing on the toilet paper, and as my prostate weakened stream, even in the prostate weakened stream, I was still able to blast <laughs> this paper apart. Uh-huh. Underneath the paper, I see what appears to be 50 turds. <laughs> okay, right. Like a lot. It's like 50 to 75 <laughs> okay, right, turds. Right, right. 50 to 75. Oh, there's a podcast awards again. It's the podcast awards. <laughs> okay, that's right. all I can think of is the po- fucking podcast awards. I'm like, oh my God, the 40 turds are here. They followed me. <laughs> okay. All right. And so I, I, I go to flush it. I flush it. As I flush it, the fucking door opens. I'm in the stall. <gasps> no! Whoever owns the private bathroom came in there. Oh, man. And I had to do... And you I'm, got turds. Can and you see me sweating right now? I'm sweating right now. I froze, and I just stood there, and I didn't fucking move until the person left. What if it overflows? It did overflow. Oh. <laughs> I have a picture of it. I have a fucking picture of it. That Because I knew you guys would be did like... Did the person say anything? Like, hey, who's in here? No, nobody said a, a word. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. It's bad. And that's after it came down. It went all the way to kiss the rim. I had the meniscus. I had the meniscus over the top. Oh. Uh. I had the fucking meniscus all the way up to the meniscus, and it was like about to go over. And, it, and then for some reason, toilets like to fuck with you. They go all the way to the top, and then they... And well, then it went back down to like regular level. What if it was your therapist, and she saw your shoes, and now she's vowed, since you used her private it bathroom, her. to uh, make you more crazy? It wasn't her. <laughs> oh, okay. well, and I know it wasn't her. Oh, okay. There's some specifics about her that I will not say, but it wasn't her. Okay. Wouldn't have been her. It was a man. All right. I saw the shoes. They were black loafers. It looked like the man that owns the thing. <laughs> so what I did was I like I froze. I didn't move. The person walked in, saw that somebody was there. They were there for just a second and then walked out. I felt sure that that person would do like everybody does. Like if I'm at any, if I'm at Pizza Bruno, you know, College Park, and I'm waiting there, and they got a one holer, right? I wait in the hallway, <laughs> yeah. like a dickhead to force. And when the person walks out, I give them a mean look, like you took too long, right? Yeah. And I'm like, this motherfucker is going to be waiting for me. So I stayed in there an extra amount of time. I stayed in there like <laughs> I did a top. I froze with the doo doo stew. It, with the stew doo, it was oh, all yeah. the stew doo was up to the top, and I stood there by that thing for another extra seven, eight minutes, <laughs> like in silence. I just stood there, and they didn't come back in. And after it had been a decent amount of time, I had to make a decision, <laughs> and I had to like I was going to go open the stall. Open, open the door, and take a right to the elevator as fast as humanly possible. And you have to act like some emergency. You have to act fast. (laughs) You have to pop pop out, and you have to be like, where am I? Like, you just popped out of a time machine. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You have to be, like, looking around, like, where was I? Check your watch and start running. Like you were, like you're a jumper, and you just shot out of a lightning cloud, and (laughs) and you just fell down, and you're like, whoa, I'm in another dimension. So I opened it, opened it, and then I beelined it. Nobody came. I mean, it was a good, I got out, I got back up, but the... The, the the lesson here is just flush it because that way if it does that if somebody walks in you can be like I didn't do it or like you know what I mean you can make your decision don't pee on top of it now did you think about standing on the toilet and holding your hand like yes. so they can't see your feet because I spent my- no the gaps are pretty big and it was uh, whoever uh, installed it it has big gaps on the door because from watching movies when can I was we young get those gaps shut bro I had a little kid <laughs> staring at me through the <laughs> goddamn I, stall I, I would stare at you too <laughs> they were like, like mommy. I was like, I am not your mommy. Yeah, yeah. Take your shit child, somewhere child else. Starved. You, you think you could put a piece, a little piece of rubber or something? something. Like, you know, like, so, like so yeah. let's invent that. Maybe that's our key to get out of this, right? Bigger. You were just talking about AI, and you're not convinced yeah, yeah. that'll do it. Maybe we need to invent the stopper for stalls so women don't have little kids looking at their titties. Like, not once. Why are my titties out, <laughs> I don't well, know. Well, you're wearing a romper. I don't know. You tell me. Why do you pull your titties out when you pee? Yeah, yeah. If you're wearing a romper, you have to. You, yeah, have to yeah. pull, you can pull it to the side. Yeah. My well, wife it depends does that. if it's shorts or... Yeah. Yeah, that is the weird short, thing about overalls. Yeah, if it's a short romper, <laughs> yeah, you just pull it to the side. You know what oddly makes me horny is when women are wearing overalls, no top, and then they pull the overalls into the center and their titties <laughs> take out the armholes. <laughs> I like that. So it's called the minion. I always thought I would have to hide more with my feet on the toilet while someone was uh, <laughs> kicking in each door to find. Why are so many people after you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. When I was a kid, I was like, "This will happen to me when I turn." I can learn how to spider man in the toilet. That has not happened once. I've never had to climb on top of the toilet so someone wouldn't see my feet. I never yeah. get my head too close to the walls on the stall because of Scream Two. Then what do you mean? You don't uh, remember you the opening Scre- of Scream 2? Oh, yeah, dude, that's bad. Somebody's like having sex in the stall next to them, and they li- they go in to listen, and then a knife comes through. Yeah. Oh, stab through the... Yeah. Uh, also, the I also don't stand too close to uh, 
train tracks because I don't want my head chopped off like in Final Destination. If you think about the the putting your ear... <laughs> How do you live your life, Sam? <laughs> well, she just told you. It's rough. She just told you how she does. She doesn't it's put her head on the every day. <laughs> I don't. If I'm behind a truck with a bunch of pipes or wood, I get around that bitch. Oh. Final Destination. You know, what's, uh, the you descent, know what's terrible? I'm, I'm writing an email. <laughs> <laughs> to who? <laughs> I was just driving, writing an email. Those things. Oh, <laughs> like, I thought you were writing an email to a trucker, like yeah. get in front of Sam. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not even driving. Yeah. My car's driving. I'm looking at pictures of Vince McMahon. <laughs> That's why you're hitting potholes. <laughs> exactly. That is why I hit a pothole. You know, it, it would suck to be have your parents find you with your ear and a knife through you as you. They were like, "What yeah. happened?" He was shitting and a pervert. He was listening. He was eavesdropping. This guy's a pervert. Also, how did Scream know where my ear was? <laughs> they knew. Like, yeah. I feel you know. Well, I feel like. It'd pop out some other. Are place. you calling the murderer Scream? I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right the killer's <laughs> name is Scream. Ghostface, bro. Oh, I don't know. Was it Ghostface? Oh. I thought it was Scream. <laughs> <laughs> I like Scream better though. Yeah, what else were we on? Uh, we do. Uh, last thing was the Mark Norman thing. I don't know if you guys saw that video where I did see it, but I don't know what happened. Um, I don't know what happened either. Uh, all I know is there was a video that was leaked. He was doing a show. You do um, a good Mark I think Mark in New Norman. York. I could be wrong. Oh, the, and he's like, hey, comedy. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how, that, the only reason I know who Mark Norman is is Daniel says that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, I know that guy. Yeah, me and Logan, you know, Seculo, Logan Seculo will say that. Like, like, I shared something. I didn't know Mark Norman could skate. I shared a video of him to Tony Manjet of Mark Norman ripping up a, like, he was on a skateboard, really? he's like grinding his stuff, and he's like, all right, it, skateboards. Mark Norman's a rare comedian where I My find, wife hates him. I find him funnier on podcasts than his stand-up special. I agree. Um, and to be fair, I didn't watch the whole thing, but uh, I was just like, ah, funnier on podcasts. <laughs> so, you know. Well, it's it's the set him up, knock him down, and a lot yeah, of people yeah. don't like that, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Like, I have some yeah. really weird comedians that I very well, much enjoy. Basically, there was, like, some guy came up on stage while he was doing his set, and then it, what looked like security took that guy off. Then security came back and, like, took Mark off and was like, we need to get you out of here. So then, like, the whole crowd was kind of freaking out, and then they had, the I guess, I would assume the host, uh, basically tell everyone, hey, but she was, like, being very, like, like, she was scared, and she's like, hey, everything's okay, everything's okay, just just stay where you are. But, like, people were, you know, legitimately freaking out, because why the hell, like, they're not telling them anything about what's going on. Oh, yeah, if someone tells me to stay where I am, I'm, I'm definitely... Get the hell I'm, out of there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, well, what the hell? I mean, there's... Here's there's, the video. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right, uh-oh. Oh, hey, how are you? What do we got, Mike? Right here? Hey, what's going on? Oh, so this guy geez. goes up. All right. Just want to make sure everybody's good here. What's going on? He sounds Uh-oh. like so many other comedians. This oh, is to me. Okay. And if I can have a lot of comedy. Okay, show. here we go. All right. party thing. Oh god, somebody got tased. Oh boy. Oh wait, whoa! I really froze there. I went to Mitch McConnell. All right. He's still trying to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course we're here. <laughs> no. so they take him off. So why they, they take him? Don't don't know. So then the lady comes on. She tells everyone not to panic. Everything's fine. Then you have like a production guy saying that they were going to be doing some filming, but there's a situation right now and they can't. So they they do need everyone to leave. So everyone evacuates. There is no show, uh, but there is like speculation that it was like a bit. And, like, he was filming, like, a special, and this was part of it. But they didn't tell the audience anything. And Mark Norman today, or the next day, like, went on his Instagram and basically said, like, Hey, I don't know. Some shit went down last night. My, my team's still trying to figure it out. Like, he's doubling down that he didn't know anything, like, what was going on. It says Weird. I don't know. I've and, never seen that. On like, USA Today, they say the New York Comedy Club um, said on Instagram that this disruption was part of a filming by High High. The producers that rented at our venue for the night, the club also said anyone who was in attendance can return for, quote, an actual show for free. The comedy club statement pointed to a mysterious Instagram account for Hi Hi, which asks followers to send a direct message if they would risk it all to have it all. The account's Instagram story included numerous clips of what appeared to be application videos. Adding to the intrigue, Donald Glover shared several of Hi Hi's posts on his Instagram story, including a screenshot of a TMZ article about the Norman incident. Uh. Hi Hi, available now, one of Glover's posts said, a Vanity Fair report published Thursday said Glover's upcoming show, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, features a mysterious entity nicknamed Hi Hi. Interesting. So this was all for some sort of skit bit they were filming or part of a I think movie? It's, no. I think it's to promote Donald Glover's show. 
Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which was Is Mark Norman in that? the movie that Brad, Brad Pitt, Pitt and Angelina, Angelina Jolie, Jolie did. Yeah. And I've seen the trailer for the Donald Glover thing, and I go, why the fuck are you doing yeah, that? I don't understand it, it looks either. corny. Atlanta is the greatest show, or one of, like, that's an amazing show. Why would you go and do a remake of a premise that, like, you know, it seems a little too pedestrian for you. Uh, You're such a creative dude. I don't know. It's uh, weird, right? But also, what would be the purpose of this? Uh, like to get the, attention for the show? To have, but the or but like Martin, I said, it could be like weird. a clip they're filming for the show, and they wanted like a natural reaction from the audience. Okay. It's weird that they didn't tell them anything after is, the show, though. Is this part of the show where they needed a comedian? Mark Norman knew that he was going to be playing himself in Mr. I'm just, this is me riffing. Mark Norman knows he's going to be playing himself in the show as a comedian, and in order to get the best reactions of him and the audience, they, they do it kind of they real. They do it kind of real, and then he says, I'm still trying to put it together because he has to keep the anonymity of the show, can't be released because it's going to be one of the clips. I'm just... This is what I'm putting together. It seems like, though, uh, the, you know, they've made a lot of movies, so you could... Uh, I think you know, Mark Norman could act it, it out. I yeah, think he 100%. could act it. I think but, he could do it. And, and, and also not freak people out that are in the audience, because it's not like, you know, America's not known for shit going down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would, I would fucking bounce the hell out of there. You know, it, it would make me mad if I had gone there to see Mark Norman. Right. I even th- like if you watch that video where the lady comes out, she's like sh- like her voice is shaky, like she looks yeah. scared. I'd be like, I'm getting the hell out of yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not a. I don't get that stuff. Does I'm not afraid of that stuff. But if I am in a situation where it looks like we're all being escorted out because there's an emergency, I don't appreciate that. Yeah, that's well, not cool. Also, if that happened at a comedy show, like say we're at uh, the Improv sure. watching a show, funny and, bone, then, funny uh, and then some crazy right. person, they, we've seen that happen. Uh, we funny have bone, seen that happen. The crazy person, they kick them out or whatever. They escort that person out. So you're like, okay, I've seen that before. And then the security comes and escorts the stand-up comedian out. Then I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, did that crazy motherfucker say that they planted a bomb in here? Right, <laughs> right. You know, I start, my mind starts going right. crazy. Like, 100%. Why'd they take him out? Right. Like, they what take the, the talent out first. <laughs> of course. We need those quality McConnell jokes. Don't uh, blow him up. I'm like, that's weird. I've never <laughs> seen that before. And then, uh, like, so Lord, uh, no, weird. There's, there's not enough comedians, man. Weird. We gotta save that guy. Um, anyway, uh, it, it, you know, it's probably just like a bad decision by some production company. Not Did, thought how. Didn't want to pay for the extras of the I mean, whole, as we uh, get right? older and think we have it figured out, the people that are in charge of these type of upstarts are younger people that don't think things out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mistakes will be made. There was some movie, oh, Elf, uh, apparently, like... Oh, I thought you were just calling me an elf. I was like, fuck you. <laughs> no, no, like, the movie Elf, uh, the they didn't have a big budget for that, so instead of, uh, like, you know, shutting down New York City and adding extras as part of the... Th- they just filmed um, him in, you know, dress as the elf, uh, running around New York and getting people's well, reactions. Buddy, buddy <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they they should have gotten one of those homeless guys shitting in a bucket. <laughs> they had, like, a homeless people like and all like of course they you know got them to sign up the you know the the rights to use them in the movie yeah but uh, all that was like all the new york city scenes and stuff was all just real people i'll give you, you know, one did you save know them a bunch of money did you know and he just recently died i think two years ago did you know the old man from home alone one and the pigeon lady from home alone two are were actually married in real life no <laughs> what are the, well, that is a good little tidbit. That's of info. fucking crazy, Trivia. right? Just made that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Just made that up. Just made, got my powers got back it. over the weekend. Got my powers back over the weekend. Yeah, I've been, <laughs> been itching to try them, but I got them back. Why would you do that? <laughs> you fucking idiot! You broke my heart. I'm gonna shit on your head now. <laughs> You're worse than Mark Norman. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Comedy. All right. All right. Let's get out of here. Um, okay. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, right. At the at the white out tailgate. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? He forgot. I about gotta that. see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll be there. Um, so I hope so. <laughs> what are you wearing? I bought a white hoodie. No white pants, bro. I don't have white pants. White I, pants, white shoes. No, no. It's white on, on white. Don't put your hood up. White on white. Most of everybody's just wearing top no, white. No, no, no. Not bottom white. I'm wearing bottom white. No, I know. You're going above and beyond. That's I even fine. got white underwear. I even got a thong <laughs> so you can see my black panties. <laughs> I don't want uh, people to see my black panties. Um, and if you are like uh, tanner than the rest of us, um, what do you mean? You got to lighten up. <laughs> just saying, that's, it's a white out game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got to lighten up. Put <laughs> <laughs> on some bleaching cream on your face. <laughs> I'm just saying. What the like, hell? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what well, you're making me yeah. wear white pants. Yeah, if I got to wear white pants, <laughs> you got a salsa. Oh, no. 
Um, semantics. Uh, what's going to be <laughs> on this that, week? Really? <laughs> I know. I don't know if I want to be associated with that. Uh, tonight we will be on Twitch. Um, so twitch.tv slash semantics media. We're going to be playing A Wolf Among Us. If you guys uh, are not familiar, it's a really fun or game. Or if Tom plays it, A Wolf. <laughs> uh, next Saturday, February 3rd at 1 p.m., I'm going to be at Rock Pit Brewing. They are having their fourth annual beer Olympics, and we're putting together a semantics team. So oh, cool. if you want to see us do some you know, Olympic beers type uh, activities, come out there and root us on. Or you can create your own team. I think nice. the CBEs might be talking about putting a team together if they haven't already. Also, semanticspodcast.com for everything semantics. And our seven-year anniversary for semantics will also be at Rock Pit Brewing on February 18th at noon. What kind of games in the Beer Olympics? I'm surprised you didn't ask me, uh, your most athletic friend. Um, what? Uh, or he just left. <laughs> Seth? Yeah, he's uh, our most uh, athletic uh, friend. Sam hates Seth. Uh, so That's not true. Have... <laughs> she, I, I mean, I, I strong dislike. Did Sam like you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah what? I, I, I wasn't going to bring I'm that up. I'm better than Seth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, hey, you hear what he said yeah, today? I never ask uh, yeah. Sam her opinion of me. I he just laughed kinda, at the McMahon stuff. I gave it in the shadows. <laughs> uh, 26.2 meter obstacle relay, a crazy straw chug relay. He did say that he was fucking crazy one time and she was shit. <laughs> he did. He did say that. Say that. I mean, I'll throw it out there. We got a keg throw. We got hammer schlong. I'll throw it out there. Brain <laughs> bag toss. And then he double, Then he had to roll Giant it back. Then he roll it way back. Then he was like, "Oh yeah, well no, you know, I I'm never said drink that. We're out this locker room talk. I'm We're just uh, <laughs> hanging around." I got nervous. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit!" What does they do? I was like, "He should have calling." The phone was lighting up. It was like, "Oh my god, he's got a crow too." I was like, "Don't say." <laughs> Why would it say that? Yeah, why would you say that? It's a mother of your child. That can't be true. It's a mother of your child. It is a true. She said it was true. That's why I said cut it out. Now we're talking about it again. I'm not cutting it out. (laughs) That doesn't happen, right? Out of all the stories. it happen. Hold on. We spent... It's usually that you're fucking them in the butt. We spent... I don't think you fuck them in the regular. (laughs) Regular. Ten years of Shark Week. I don't think you're getting them in the standard and it's like, oh, hold on. I don't think that happens. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think you can. I, I seriously, I think it's like it's almost like like yeah, you yeah. can't suck in air and suck in yeah, yeah. A, a, air for your nose. Like it's so like you can't sneeze yeah. with your eyes open. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. That's a better exactly <laughs> because I can't sneeze with your eyes open. Yeah, same thing. Zupo <laughs> 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 says a lot of bad today. And you drove me along. I think I went along for a whole lot. I don't blame Sam. What? I always blame She him. wrote you it guys down. Do blame me for yeah, I blame her for everything. Look at this list of films. You guys <laughs> fucked up. You guys fucked up a manscaped dad. Somehow it's my fault. <laughs> well, listen, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. All right. We'll see you on Monday. Wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's uh, mediocre. <laughs> <laughs>